get down to the to the beat side. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Connor Bagel Bagel Bagel, coming to you live from the campus of North Carolina University on these uh, this Super Bowl Sunday, actually. Um, Sunday, February 2nd, we're getting ready to have Western Michigan take on Northern Illinois University in the College League of Legends season week two. Uh, both teams come in here winning their first matchup. I'm going to make sure I'm over there. Uh, we have on the blue side starting it off today, so let's go ahead and switch that up. Um, because that is different than I expected. Um, we have on the blue side, Northern Illinois University. Uh, they're gonna be starting with the top laner, uh, Shane Magic uh, Meyer. We're gonna have in the jungle, Jeremy PCH, Steve Muller, Nathan Space Marine 18 Villanueva will be in the mid lane. Ian uh, Crane ADC Sullivan will be in the ADC role. And then Jessica the Urban Kitsune Johnson will be your support today. On the side of Western Michigan, we have in the top lane, Dusk to Dawn. He's Diamond 4 top laner. We've got Baka in the jungle, Diamond 3. JHK1029 is going to be their gold 1 mid laner. Lawan Smurf is going to be their platinum 3 AD carry. And then waiting for Friday will be the support. He's platinum 3. This week, uh, we saw last week NIU go down 1 0 and then come back in that matchup. Uh, I'm going to bring in my good friend and co caster today, Quinn Mundorf. He's going to be uh, talking a little bit about how exactly that matchup went down last weekend and what we can expect to see today. Quinn. Thanks for having me, Connor. Yeah, of course. Go ahead. Uh, you you want to talk a little bit about that matchup from last weekend? Uh, which matchup? Our, our matchup? NIU? Ours, I, NIU's matchup. Against, NIU versus CMU? Against CMU, correct. That that we you know went down one nothing in and then came back from. Well, yeah, we had, a, we had a rough first game, but we bounced back and kind of easily defeated them in the next two. Astute analysis there, Quinn. No, I couldn't have said it better myself in any way, shape, or form. Um, let's just go down the rankings since Quinn uh, does not have quite the analysis we were looking for on that last match. I don't know what you were looking for, uh, Connor. But we've got Diamond 2, Platinum 3, Diamond 2, Platinum 3, to Platinum 4 for the side of NIU from top to bottom. Um, NIU does have the blue pick for the first time, or for game one here today. 
Uh, so we, what can we expect to see? We're going to see them with the first pick and the first ban. Um, so likely going to be something contested here that we'll see this week. Uh, let's make sure. Uh, I want to change that yeah. week two. Yeah, that's, um, but yeah. So what what are you thinking might be something that we uh, that we see some priority on of this week? Well, uh, I believe Set, Syndra, Lux, and Silas are all still disabled. Correct. So I'm not really. Those are kind of the the huge picks that are uh, at least Set is. He's a uh, still a new pick, so he's kind of a uh, high priority, a little unbalanced. Mm -hmm. uh, same thing with kind of Syndra. Syndra's really strong right now. Pretty good. Indeed, uh, consistent DPS mage with a lot of burst as well. Are you expecting to see anything with um, with the Aphelios, uh, with some of those nerfs that have come through that weren't on the pro patch last week that uh, we may see a little bit higher or lower priority on him this well, week? I watched LCS yesterday, and he was pretty much picker ban for the most pick part, ban? along with Senna, but... Yes, uh, and so yeah, with the LCS, we've been seeing some interesting, uh, interesting viability on some things. All right, looks like uh, they may be, may be ready here, um, but we'll wait to get into champs. Like as we mentioned last week, we will have uh, the, we will have that two minute delay that you guys are seeing. Then we'll be able to go ahead and uh, go into a um, further. Jamson, uh, Pog, huge NIU fan, glad to be here. Um, but yeah, we will be waiting uh, two minutes, then we'll be able to see the uh, the initial uh, the initial into gameplay. Sorry, uh, then we'll have the three minutes of the spectator client delay, and then we'll have an additional two minutes that we have to pause once we're in game. Um, so it looks like both sides are ready, and we'll be jumping into champs like they. It does not look like we'll be using uh, the uh, pro drafts today, so we'll go ahead and transition you guys over to the pick ban phase. I mean, there's no reason to use pro draft when you have uh, league unlocked. That's what I was You're thinking. Really, the last, if week. anything, it's probably better because you don't have those weird bugs with pro draft. Exactly. Last week we did see them use it, but already on to first picks and first bans. Uh, we've got an Elise ban right away. She has been seeing some priority uh, come back up with this new patch cycle. Um, Anivia immediately that target ban on a Space Marine, Nathan in the mid lane. Uh, Yasuo going to be coming out as that next ban, and then the Pantheon Flex is going to be taken off the table. So immediately some some glaring... Uh, not, not really sure why we banned Yasuo against them. The gold one mid lane. Not not too sure why. Could be uh could be possibly uh, a one trick type of th situation. Senna gonna be taken off the table by NIU now, uh, and so we will see one last ban here from the side of Western Michigan. Uh, it might be something that's been high priority, something like an Akali um, that's been seeing a lot of bans. Uh, we'll, we'll, they have about five seconds, and it's going to be the Oriana that was played last week, uh, taken off the table for Nathan. That is a good ban. Definitely watched our uh, last week games. Yeah, they've been, it looks like based on the Pantheon and the, uh, the Oriana, they have been putting in some research here, so good props to them. But Diana immediately going to be the hover here in that uh, first pick for NIU. Uh, something that we've been seeing a lot of flexing between mid lane and jungle, um, and that is going to be the lock in here for NIU on that first pick. We're going to wait just a second here while we're uh, while we're looking at this one. Uh, it does look like they're going to be holding on to that last hover or that next hover, I should say, um, for until they get to the end. Eight seconds left to see what they might pick up in response, and it's going to be the Sejuani hover here and now locked in. So that's going to be immediately thrown into the jungle, likely to a uh, answer this Diana that they believe would be going there. We're getting some flashbacks to last week's game. Yes. Where it was just hard tanks on one team, and then... Yeah, and there's another tank. So. With the tank so. uh, are they going to do... Are they pulling the LCS 5 Glacials here? Uh, I don't think so. No, you don't think so? They've got two Glacials so far. So. Unless they want to go for the Ash pick. Then that, I can maybe see it, but you I don't know, know Ash has been seeing higher priority in the pro game. Right I don't now, think so. there are, are there any glacial mid laners left. Like Anivia is the big one. Oh, true. Ah, um, uh, Lissandra, I guess. Lissa oh, we haven't. Lissandra's been, been pretty low in priority though. Anyway, back to the back to what's well, at hand. We do have uh, the Cassiopeia being picked up here. 
by uh, NIU. Not, so not, another thing that could be hovered between top or mid. Yeah, not really sure why they picked that right now because usually most Cassiopeias, unless you're Huni, go mid lane. So and look, I'm not really sure why they would basically reveal that the Diana is most likely the jungle pick. And this is now going to be an enchanter, so three mages of some sort uh, with that Karma being picked up. Yeah. Uh, that one, again, possibly a flex towards the mid lane, but likely going down to the bot lane. Uh, they have taken out some of her potential in that mid lane role. Uh, last pick for this phase is going to come out from Western Michigan, and it is that Misfortune Hover, something that I saw them play quite a bit last week in their matchup against uh, Eastern Michigan. Uh, they had quite a bit of success on that pick, so no wonder that they're going to be running that one back this week. Draven going to be taking off the table another target ban towards Crane here, mm -hmm. and uh, let's see what NIU has for that next ban. Uh, we could expect to see it likely... Uh, we're Probably be... some mid and top lane bans coming through. Exactly. Or I'm going to be taken off the table, something that they faced a couple games last week, and uh, now that they have three squishies already uh, locked in, you know, you don't really want to throw a squishy into the Orn. That matchup can sometimes go uh, back or forth there um, and definitely be decided in, a, in an instant. And then Lucian, another ADC ban here towards Crane. So I'm going to throw him onto something a little lower priority. Um, but something still up now with the Aatrox ban is that Caitlyn. So Caitlyn could be an interesting pick here. Um, Ezreal, another one that works well with an Enchanter. So uh, we could see there's still a few ADCs available to him. Um, notably, Aphelios still available as well. Mordekaiser going to be the pick. Uh, so another looks like it's going to be four tanks and an AD carry for uh, NIU's opponent once again here. Mm -hmm. uh, same types of comps they were facing last week against Central Michigan. Um, Crane now going to be hovering. We'll see exactly what he wants to play here in just pretty, a second. Uh, pretty surprising that they go ahead and pick the what I'm guessing is the top laner with that Mordekaiser when they really should have just saved it for the last pick because they already know the mid laner is most likely Cassiopeia. Exactly. So they and should have probably be... just given him given him counter pick because you see this right here. We yeah, see the exactly. Darius now locked in. It's like Darius pretty into good, Mordekaiser. Pretty good matchup for Darius into that board. Mm hmm. And uh, something that we have been seeing uh, get a little bit back into that, not only the pro meta, but also the collegiate meta quite a bit. Uh, looking through a lot of what was played last week, we saw quite a bit of Darius. And again, this week we're seeing the same thing. Last pick coming through, it's going to be the AD carry more than likely here. And uh, going to be an Ash pickup here. So Ash and the Misfortune. Uh, interesting matchup. Ash not able to get those crits 100% in terms of damage. Will be instead slows whenever those uh, crits come out. So... Um, could be interesting against all these tanks as they can now chase down those tanks and they have the damage to do so. Uh, what what might we see here for this last pick? Uh, it's going to be the Rumble likely going into the, either the mid or top lane, uh, but that's another flex pick that's odd to see right at the end there. Could, could very well be uh, answering the Darius in that top lane matchup. Um, Potentially, yeah, but... If they do that, they're leaving the Mordekaiser with a pretty bad matchup, and the Cassio, Cassio will just be able to easily outrange him and just poke him out. Mm -hmm. And uh, looks like as we go, okay, taking so, their sweet time switching their champion. Mm -hmm. Both teams here. There it goes. Okay, before that twenty second mark, where they'd be locked into playing their own champions here. All right. So it does look like when we finally see that lock now. Okay. So we do see on both sides it's going to be Adarius versus Mordekaiser, Diana versus Sejuani, Cassiopeia versus Rumble, Ash Misfortune, and then Karma to Brawl. Uh, interesting as we see here, uh, the that Diana matchup into Sejuani definitely feasts feast or famine, matches PCH's uh, playstyle quite a bit there. So I'm interested to see how this all goes along. Uh, we are going to see quad TPs in the game matching summoner spells across the board, uh, but now we are into that three minute delay as they are getting ready to play. Anything you notice that stands out with this draft? Well, there's not a lot of uh, there's not a lot of good team fight starters on NAU side. They have the, like the Diana R, but that's about it. Mm -hmm. And Diana doesn't really want to go into a team comp like this because. Uh, Western Michigan has a really big wombo with uh, Misfortune plus Rumble as well as the Braum R and the Sejuani R. Yeah, so this is definitely a team fight comp coming out from Western Michigan, uh, whereas NIU is going to look to be, there's a lot of side lane push ready here for them, so they could definitely uh, look to spread the map a little bit and see if they can't look for picks. Uh, definitely some 
champs that can get those picks once they have them with the Darius and Diana both being able to take a person from 100 to 0 quite quickly. Cassiopeia, if she gets you caught with her uh, ultimate, might be able to do so as well. Uh, and then the Karma's going to be able to disengage with that Ash. So we'll see exactly how they want to play this one out. Um, but definitely interesting matchup as we're looking into here. Uh, bot lane, as you're an experienced bot laner, where do you see this matchup headed? Uh, I see this matchup going literally nowhere. Probably just going to be farming for first couple minutes. Maybe a jungler comes down and then they try to do something, but I'm not really expecting this matchup to be very uh, interactive. It's probably just going to be a night you're trying to poke them out and maybe getting a kill, but probably nothing is going to likely happen. Unless a jungler comes down and tries to uh, interrupt that matchup. So you're thinking this is going to be a very jungler dependent bot lane, but uh, as for the top lane matchup, you said that Darius might have the advantage in this one. Uh, do you think that this means that Sejuani is going to have to focus some of her time up towards that top lane to influence that matchup? Uh, potentially, but if she does that, she risks the probability of losing dragons and objectives on the other side of the map, so she's probably not going to want to spend too much time top lane because. It's a pretty good matchup for Darius, even if he falls behind a bit, because he has that huge true damage R. He as does. Well as he's got pretty good consistent damage as well with his bleed. It's, yeah, so Noxie and Guillotine should be uh, should be something that comes online, and we'll see exactly how he's able to use that. But we are now 30 seconds before we get into the uh, the spectator client and waiting on that. Um, any bold predictions you have for this matchup as a whole, not just for game one, but overall here today? Overall, I'm not sure, honestly. This, I mean, especially this game. This game could honestly go either way. Whichever team has a better start to the game or whichever team gets better dragon RNG, because whoever starts taking those first ones, if the next if the next two are pretty good, there's a chance they can just close it out with those. An interesting point that you make there, though, the dragon RNG. So something we've been seeing in the pro scene that we... Uh, haven't been seeing as much, you know, in the college games, is the the first team ta uh, giving up two drakes in um, trade for the Rift Heralds. Do you think that's something that we'll see this week? Do you think that there is that they should have that priority on drakes or on that Rift Herald uh, early on in the game? I mean, ideally you'd like to get priority on both of them, but that's kind of difficult. It is. we had a second where we couldn't see the game. It is going to be High Noon, Darius, Blood New Moon, Diana, No Skin on the Cassiopeia, Feral Yord, Ash, Conqueror, Karma, Mordecai's No Skin, uh, Firecracker, Sejuani, Rumble, No Skin, Road Warrior, Misfortune, and El Tigre, Braum. Uh, looking through real quick, level 7 mastery on the Sejuani, otherwise no masteries there, level 7 on the Darius, level 5 on the Ash, and level 7 on the Karma. Other than that, no masteries on, I, on the rest of those sides. Uh, interesting, the, definitely going for the uh, Conqueror instead of the um, Phase Rush build on Darius. Uh, phase Rush, definitely something you'd see in matchups versus non-tanks more often, I'd assume, but uh, we aren't going to see it here. Um, so as we look, we're about 40 seconds behind the game, so we will be a little bit back. Uh, you you want to go through the runes real quick? Uh, for the either team here. Sure, we got matching to uh, Conqueror in the top lane. We got Conqueror for for the Diana as well as Aftershock for the Sejuani. We got Conqueror as well for the mid lane. I know you seem to be liking their Conqueror. We got Comet for the Rumble, which is pretty standard. Uh, PTA for the Misfortune. Lethal Temple for the Ash. And uh, Aerie and Guardian respectively for the supports. Nothing, uh, nothing too crazy from uh, Masteries this game. Everything looks pretty standard. Thank you, Quinn. So, as you mentioned, we do see one stopwatch coming out, though. That's going to be on the Karma. So, uh, something that we've seen a lot of priority from Jess on over the uh, over the couple of years that we've seen her on the team. Um, we're going to go ahead and check real quick. All right, looks like we are. That's odd. 41. We're stuck at. So. Might, be, uh, might be a pause, potentially. There may be a pause, you're right. So, um, because we had to wait so long going in, so uh, could in, could be a pause. Um, we'll go ahead and let's 
let me just check real quick. Well, yep, game has paused. So we did have one disconnect coming in, so we'll go ahead and wait on that one. Uh, having a lag issue, one person is ready and coming back in uh, now. to be getting uh, ready soon. So we'll go ahead and real quick hold off on getting you guys this, uh, this matchup quite yet. So gives us a little more time to talk about what we are expecting to see here as this goes on. Uh, uh, just get that. But yeah, just going for that stopwatch. Otherwise, uh, looks like Darius is. I uh, don't see any uh, any particularly different. Uh, okay, odd. That's weird. That it, oh, oh, I know why. So I did that. So let's go ahead and go through the stats real quick. Do we have any uh, any specialty runes here? Uh, looks yeah, like he doesn't have any magic resistance, which is really interesting considering Mord is primarily magic damage. Indeed. As well as he also has uh, the Rumble as well will also be dealing some magic damage. So I'm pretty surprised that he just go for armor, especially considering Sedrani isn't exactly a heavy source of AD damage either. She's no. also primarily magic damage. Indeed. So going through, we're just going to keep checking this out as it looks like the pause has been ended. So we'll go ahead and get into game in just a minute. But it uh, looks like, again, more magic uh, or no magic resist on the Diana. That's normal for junglers because the mm -hmm. camps all deal physical damage. So Indeed. you want to make your clear a bit better. Magic resist is coming through from the cast. Uh, Ash looks like, or Karma, we're going to see no resistance. Is it additional? Yeah, I don't really think HP is that good. Uh, and then armor as well on the ash. So let's go ahead and get you guys started on this one. We're ready into game, and we're going to go ahead and show you guys. That's not the right thing. This is the right thing. And uh, there it goes. All right. So you guys can see the game now, and we are in to game. Oops. Ooh. All right. Looks like we're just going to see the standard starts here. Uh, it does look like the double Doran shields coming in the top lane. Uh, Doran shield coming out from Rumble, but the Doran's ring coming out from Cassiopeia as expected. Uh, blades coming out in the bot lane. And here's where that pause says, yep, draft is showing. Not the end game because the game had not started quite yet. So we are now in the game. Uh, as I mentioned, you guys are going to see that about two minutes behind the yeah. game here. Um, looks like NIU does get that vision onto Sejuani. They are going to poke out a little bit. No damage put across on either side. So uh, nobody wins that damage war. And it does. Nobody was able to clear any of the wards that were placed. Um, so it does look like that's just going to be the early vision fight going in favor of neither team. Uh, we do see now. More guys are being spammed for whatever reason. Um, let me just real quick for you guys. Whoops. Just real quick. There we go. Covering chat for you guys so that you guys don't have to see it. Uh, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and see... The early clear is coming through, and a red buff start from from PCH, but actually a blue buff start from Sichuani. So uh, likely going to be an early gank towards the bot lane here from PCH if he is expecting that one. Yeah. Cool. Otherwise, waves going relatively even here throughout. Both wards from the uh, submission of bottom lane have all expired. So if they were to walk in the river, they wouldn't be able to see anyone. Jeremy's still working on those Krugs, though, so we'll see exactly how he paths. And now he's going to path up towards his chickens, his raptors, so it does not look like he'll explore that uh, that early gank. Might be looking for a power clear and into a top lane gank at level 4 already, so uh, we'll see what a full clear might look like for him. Otherwise, the early matchups going in favor, not really anywhere there, so uh, Flamespit are going to be able to force Cassiopeia off the wave just a little bit. And uh, as we see, it's just going to be a continued trade of damage. No summoner spells used quite yet. Uh, 
Sejuani looking like she's about half health right now with no smites. So she just smited. So just smited. So now going to have she's about half pretty health much finished with that clear. Indeed. Although it seems like she did not do the Gromp. So no, she skipped Gromp, she which skipped is the most valuable one. camp right now, which yes. is interesting. Darius able to land that uh, Ooh, the the one, of those, one of those cast ranges, though. It did. Looks like Sejuani is posturing towards the top lane here, so we might see our first gank here, but Diana is going to already be on the Scuttle Crab and is going to spot out this Sejuani. So uh, it looks, while Mordekaiser does have a level advantage, it's not going to be an advantage in the fight, and he's going to be able to back away here. Conquer on the uh, the uh, Cassiopeia, I didn't notice that before. So not a, um, not a sorcery some, or a rune. Nicely dodged on the... Uh, uh, the um, harpoon. Yeah, but he wasted all of his mana trying to poke him out. Indeed, and this is actually quite a bit of damage going through onto the Cassiopeia. Now he's not going to have any mana to try to uh, keep this wave contested, so he might, now that he's got the gold, is it X? Yes. So he's got about 700. He's got, he's got tier gold, so yes. if he wants the back and TP, he can. And then he can come back with that tier and start stacking that early. Yes, so it looks like he just wants to finish off this wave before he does so. Um, just make sure he can get as much as possible off of it. But yeah, with the TP, that would be likely the early um, the early move would be just going in and uh, grabbing that tier and then TPing back in the lane. Now, bro, I'm going to dive in here the as the Sejuani is here. here. He already used from NIU. Now the door is going up. Flash coming out from Karma, and she's actually going to now be the first blood. But uh, Luan Smurf going to be taken low, but not quite killed. And that's going to be first blood in favor of Western Michigan on this one. Nice dodge on the harpoon from NIU. And now we're going to see a continued fight going through here. He's going to get the full passive proc, but uh, Diana going to find the Braum here in the jungle and not going to be wanting to continue that fight as she already has two stacks of Braum's passive on her. Uh, looks like that might be the early dragon start. No, nope, thought lane is going to back. This fortune's too low. They can't risk fighting for it. Diana is going to see this Braum likely. Nope, he's going to finish the back before Diana is able to get there. So they'll just clear the control ward, and it is just the extended one for nothing in favor of Western Michigan on this one. As we continue this, it's just going to be that six or the eight hundred gold from uh, from the first blood, and then the slight advantage in farm there is going to be the difference so far. Uh, it does look like Crane has been doing a better job of farming so far, uh, but if you notice, the Braum has kept it relatively even with his seven uh, seven uh, minions that he's taken using the, um, using the, what, what is the new support item called that he's got? Is that Targonism? That's not Targonism. I Brace. don't know what the support items are. I don't yeah, play support, new... so I don't really know. Yeah, the new support items are interesting. I don't quite know the names of them yet. You can but... uh, hover over it to see. I, think. I could. That, uh, we'll do Steel, Steel Shoulder, Shoulder Guards. So that's the one that uh, does the same passive as the old uh, the old Relic Shield, but is now the more tanky item. Uh, looks like we do have them roaming towards the support and uh, jungler. Towards this dragon here, it is going to be started up now. Uh, NIU is going to look to contest this one. They're going to have it about half health, and now it's going to be going to be forced Ooh, off with the equalizer, R. and actually going to be killed is the uh, is oh, going to be, be Jeremy, for, but it could be a two for one here. As uh, now the Cassiopeia is going to get oh, the, got it. the poison, but now good stun coming through, and uh, this is going to be the flash is forward, so. Going to be a two for two in favor, but, well, the dragon. but losing the dragon. So Western Michigan got to pick that one up, and uh, gold lead's still down to six hundred. But the flash is expended by Sejuani, and uh, both sums by Luan Smurf on the misfortune. So it is going to in the end be pretty even in that trade, uh, and. Diana not able to pick up a kill or an assist on that one, so Sejuani got to get a little further ahead. But two kills going over to the Cassiopeia, so that's good. She was able to get two of the Amplifying Tomes and one of those tiers for her, so, as well as a Mana Crystal. So pretty efficient back there. When you don't need the 300 gold for boots, you end up getting quite a bit there. Rumble now going to roam towards the top lane, but going to not find anything, so he'll back. You know, place the control there. word down there to potentially yeah. see the Diana walking through. Indeed. As we continue to see this, looks like Diana is going to go for her own red buff here. 
Uh, going to be a little bit of damage. And actually, level advantage on the bot lane uh, in favor of NIU here. Just one on that support, but that could end up being vital as that will be... Uh, That'll be Karma hitting her, getting her ultimate on the lower cooldown before Brahms. Not as impactful as an ultimate, but uh, definitely one that you'd like to see. Uh, now going to be pulled in is the Mordekaiser. This is going to be, actually, Darius going to be getting a good trade there on it. And uh, in the end, actually, yeah, is, this he is losing it now, but we'll see if he's able to hit another guillotine. Not able to hit that, so the heal does come through. Flashing away now, so not able to get off the ultimate quite then. Yeah, uh, rank one ultimate doesn't do very much damage. No, it doesn't. And uh, There's uh, tanking minions right there for a while, too. Indeed. So, forcing the flash is Mordekaiser, and he's going to be able to now take that advantage in the matchup uh, as we continue. Misfortune, 2-0-0, -oh -oh, as if you didn't notice, but uh, now going to have that advantage with the full... Uh, the full BF sword on the first item, as well as the uh, Cloak of Agility. I'm not really sure why he got the Cloak of Agility, because it's not as efficient as uh, getting this raw ID on Misfortune. Indeed. I'm thinking we might... Uh, he looks like he wanted to get that extra health potion, as well as the Control Ward, and may have needed that 375 gold... Or the 75 gold, sorry, for that item as well. Um, but... Interesting choice. We'll have to look back at that one and take a look at it when we get the chance. Um, at this point, just indeed just continuing through. Now we do see level 6 on both of the bot laners from NIU, and they're going to be able to force off the wave just a little bit here. Um, but good poke from Misfortune back on that one. Diana now coming in and actually going to take a turret shot and the harpoon, so not quite the trade they were looking for on that one. Uh, Ash sitting in a bush is going to be spotted out by that ward as it expires here. You're going to be able to see. That's actually the ultimate coming out from Sejuani. And good oh. good uh, denial on the blast cone. And not going to quite get the kill yet. We'll see if Diana is able to get out of this one. She is able to get out of this one. And uh, now going to just be Darius forcing this one away. So good job by NIU to roam down and protect their juggler. Was, uh, almost disastrous because he pulled the Sejuani onto the blasting you're going with him rather than just taking it himself. Indeed. And that's a lot of damage coming in onto the rumble. So going to be forced away here. And uh, well done by NIU to make use of that trade pretty well. Now going to get the slows onto the uh, Brahm and just going to force him away. Get a little bit more poke and force him off of this wave. NIU answering back rather nicely after going down early. So we'll see how this game continues to progress. Next dragon is going to spawn in just under a minute and a half. It's going to be not quite sure which one. It doesn't say for us quite yet. But uh, we'll get, now that we have a second, we'll go ahead and hover over that and it'll be an ocean drake. So that's going to be two rather uh, rather interesting souls, either the mountain or the infernal. Uh, both can help with these teams really well. So now going to be one of the first plays of the game. Actually could be the first if this goes down to the bot lane. And are you going to look? There it is. The first plate is going to go down. And uh, looking at, yeah, that's going to be the first plate of the game. So not very hard pushing either of those lanes uh, or any of the lanes quite yet. Now it does look like Cassiopeia is going to be backing. She her TP does come up in just about 15 seconds here, so we'll see exactly if that what that's going to be, and that's going to actually be the Archangel Staff finished off for Cassiopeia at this time. So going to be fully stacking that one. Yeah, it's going to be able to stack it a lot quicker than if you went for like a row a second instead. Mm -hmm. It's that full uh, stacking passive. Interesting choice here by Mordekaiser. He is already going for that uh, for the Zonias. He's got the uh, the stopwatch and the Seeker's Arm Guard in inventory early on in this game. So he's going to go for that first defensive item. Uh, going to be now... Interesting noises coming from over there. Uh, anyway, uh, we do see Ian finishing off that uh, Blade of the Rune King, as well as the Essence Reaver coming out from Misfortune. So full first items. Going to now be the stun onto the Braum. He's going to get now stunned as well. Uh, Ash is going to be used, or Ultimate's going to come through. Now one now going to be traded back, and he is going to commit the flash to this one. Going to be able to get this one back. Oh, does look like one. Ash is going to try to flash this Ooh. one in, and not quite. There's going to be the flash from Cassiopeia. Equalizer comes out, though. but this yeah. is going to be the uh, everyone in the bot lane now. It's a bot lane party. And let's see, this is going to be, there's the stopwatch coming out, and uh, no shield available to Mordekaiser. He's going to get that one now. So four to two in favor of NIU. Actually, just a Four to, is that a four to two? Yes, four yeah. to three. Sorry. Four for three, yeah. 
No. Four for one. My bad. So, yeah, four for one in favor of NIU on that one. No, that was a no. four for three. Two. Okay, three. Jeremy died as well as... Four for two. Four for two. Because no. they were down two. Now, no, Ian we extended died. five for three. Ash died, Karma died, and Diana died. Did Karma die? Yes. She got ulted by Mordekaiser. Oh, that's right. That's that's. Cool. I was just about to talk about that. Mord actually screwed over his own team. Because since Mord ulted uh, Karma... Ash had no one else to focus but the misfortune, and so misfortune then get gets focused down because he doesn't have to run away from the mort anymore because he just oh. he doesn't have to worry about him for like eight seconds. Interesting. So this is going to be the Drake going over towards NIU. So they're going to equal out these and take that Ocean Drake. It looks like it's going to be the soul of the mountain. So mountains for the rest of this game. Uh, not the one that you know if you're looking for big extravagant battles you're gonna look for but this is gonna this be is actually the better is, dragon for niu because that it is. it'll make rumbles damage a lot less mm -hmm. if they're able to take it if not though the amount of tanks on the side of western michigan could also really help them with this drake so turret plating now falls the only play taken was the one from niu uh then it's going to be a continued that was actually now that i'm noticing that was five kills on, uh, or three of those kills from that last fight out of the five came onto the Cassiopeia, and she's now sitting at 5-1-0. Oh. Uh, this is going to be the ultimate coming down onto the Ash. Uh, she is going to go down. Should Could be, be another here. stun. But actually, Jeremy's going to come in, so he's going to, oh, that is going to be the second kill. Is he able to turn this around All onto right. the third? No, he's yeah, not, and that's going to be up. good setup from Western Michigan. And they're able to answer back, getting a three for nothing in the bot lane. Cassiopeia is roamed down, so she's going to be able to protect this turret a little bit. Yeah, Rumble now going to follow this one up, so it is going to be a four for two, or four against one, sorry, in the bot lane. Ooh, uh, Mord is going to be down this fight. level down, and this is going to be a second ult here. He's not going to go for it, even though the Noxian guillotine wait. would be second. No, he's not going to try no. to go for a flash Q to get extra damage and keep the stacks alive. Indeed. So, going to just back away, force that one off. Rift Herald is going to spawn here in under 30 seconds, from just now, actually, so uh, that could be an interesting idea. They're going to ping on to it. Darius is going to look for this Rift Scuttler. Uh, he is going to be kind of sandwiched on this one, and uh, lots of pings coming down onto him. So he might want to get out of there, but not going to be able to do so. Should be just going to get this just, real quick. Just going to get this real quick, and then he is he does know that they're coming into that direction based on Mort can't the check scrying that, or look. He can easily fight the Mord, but his E is down because he used it on the Crab to reduce all of its resistances. Indeed. So he doesn't have that right up yet. He's not going to follow this up. Yeah, he is he still a level to, up on Mord. Yeah. Oh, he gets the pull, so let's see if he's able to get this one. Oh, able one to dodge the out pull. the E from Mord. This is going to be one. Oh, he misses that. Now oh, he's he going to flash. And I guess get he hit the it. Alt. Okay. It didn't look like he hit the E. No, it didn't. Cube, but I guess he did. And uh, just He still has flash. He could just dive him right here. And with Diana here, they are going to look for the dive, but Sejuani is going to look for that one. Actually oh, going to be taken in. He's going to die to this one. And yeah. yeah, not well played with the dive, and oh, also PCH dying shot. in that one. So, unfortunately, there, yeah. misplayed. But uh, that's going to be right there. yeah, that's going to be the Rift Herald going down in favor for uh, Western Michigan on this one. So they're going to open up that top lane or the mid lane more than likely on this one. Going to be a little bit of a chase now. With the Ooh, a misfortune is going to get dived, and yeah. she's going to kill's going to go over to the Karma, but still going to be well played from NIU, taking out that bounty yeah. and bringing it over Brom, to themselves. Uh, was showing himself on that scuttle crab right there, so they Thank knew you. that they didn't have to worry about Braum showing up to save the day. And uh, Mord sitting at about half health. He does look like... Uh, actually, Sejuani's going to be the one with the Rift Herald, so not going to be placing it right away and looking for this turret race. So NIU might be able to grab first turret here, just on the straight up push in the bot lane. Uh, Mord going to leave the top lane, so He's not going to be able to help that one out, and that might not even fall after the wave is cleared here by Darius. So, a little bit interesting on the call. I think Mord stays in the top lane. He might actually be able to uh, take that turret, but in the end, it yeah. is just going to be one for nothing in favor of NIU. And actually, despite being down two kills in this game so far, they're going to be up to uh, about 500 gold right now. Yeah. Uh, looking through this game so far. Anything standing out as like something that you noticed that you'd like that you're happy about or uh, that you're a little bit questioning so far with this game? Well, I'm really happy with uh, the Cassiopeia being five and one right now. That's pretty nice. He's already got his Rylize and his fully stacked uh, Archangel staff. 
Um, little disappointed with the uh, the Darius build. He's going for that black cleaver. Not a very good. Uh, it's not good for one v one. It's a little bit better for team fighting, but it's still just it's not as ideal as a build. Looks like Braum is going to find this Diana, and they're going to have the Sejuani there to kind of stack it up. Not going to be ending up finding anything out of it. Missing the second chair there, so going to be Diana just grabbing this Scuttle Crab. And now going to land, and Diana's oh, going to look for that. bad spot with, right now. He's going to have to flash. He is going to use his flash to avoid that one, so not going to have that available for the steal here. Uh, but it looks like NIU now going to keep on looking for a fight here over this Mountain Drake now that it does spawn here in just about two, five Aren't seconds. Gonna drop so the Rift Herald. They're going to drop the Rift Herald to try to get mid priority this, uh, here. This tower might just die. NIU, so not going to be able, Yeah, they're going to lose that tower, and uh, that is going to be tr uh, Drake going over towards Western Michigan. Unless NIU does want to contest this, the doesn't look like they're in fall. position to do so. Uh, you're right, the tower did not vision, fall. Though, that's the thing. And uh, they're going to walk right into There's this. Equalizer are going to keep him out of this Equalizer one. Equalizer hits exactly but one person. Are they going to be able to grab anything out of this? It is going to be turned back, and now Diana going to dive through. But going to be the Misfortune Ultimate. A lot of damage on Denayu, but are they able to grab it? Now that's going to be the Forced Flash out from Misfortune. That is going to be one coming through. Cassio's pretty Cassio strong. Cassio's going to be dead on that oh, one, not going to be able to be... Stun. Yeah, and now the stun comes through. This is actually turning very disastrous from NIU, yeah. as Mordekaiser was able to do oh, his ulti correctly, his not off. getting off the right ultimate, and that's going to be a clean ace from it's Western five Michigan. 5 for on this zero one. and the dragon. That's a disaster. So that's going to definitely be mid-turret going down, possibly two turrets on this one. NIU going to have to climb out of this disadvantage in game one once again. Uh, not going to be a necessarily a loss so far. We do have quite a bit of gameplay to go for. They're not even going to go for that second Drake. So, in the end, not as disastrous as it could have been, but definitely not the start you're looking for in game one so far for NIU. Oh, that was pretty disastrous. NIU lost pretty much all of their summoner spells except for, uh, it looks like, TP on the mid lane. But, with a split pushing... Uh, the TP is being available is going to be pretty pretty substantial with the fact that you have a split push comp like this. Um, we'll see exactly how NIU wants to play this one out so far, but it uh, does look like they're down about two and a half, three thousand 3,000 gold this point in the game. 20 minutes in, that's not the biggest lead we've seen, um, but it's certainly got some substance to it. Uh, it looks like that next mountain will spawn in about four minutes here, so... Uh, and NIU is going to just give up this turret as it looks like the bot lane has switched up for it. Um, Sejuani looking to kind of clear out the topside jungle. So NIU might look for a fight here over this blue buff. Very, uh, They're going to back away without doing so. Very interesting build from the Sejuani. You went for the Spirit's Visage, which uh, is only a really good item if you have any healing in your champion. But Sejuani has exactly zero healing in her kit. And so that you probably should have opted for something different. Well done by uh, Western Mission, really zoning there in those corridors, using the Misfortune Alt and the Equalizer very well, the Bullet Time and the Equalizer, comboing very well to get both of the bot laners from NIU down to about 25% health. Uh, that means Dusted On is going to be able to take that turret in the bot lane uncontested and uh, going to be three for one or three to one in favor of Western Michigan on the turrets and about a 4,000 gold lead this point in the game. So definitely the lead is building. Uh, Baron is available when they want to go take that. Um, NIU you going to have to find a way to stem the bleeding for a minute and then find that Baron if possible. Jeremy just going to be able to complete the recall, not going to be spotted out here on that one near the ground. Oh, he has his uh, second item. He does have his second item that Roa is going to complete. It's oh, five zero and two. stacks right now, so it won't it really is. come online until 30 minutes. Indeed. Um, oh, 5 and 2, so not exactly where you wanted to be on the Diana. Uh, so maybe not a pick that they have as much priority for next game. But still, 5, 2, and 0 oh on the Cassiopeia. So actually able to take on this Mordekaiser relatively well since he has no magic resist except in the boots. Uh, so that Sejuani 3, 1, and 8, though, getting very tanky at this point in the game. And... Definitely going to be the CC bot that you wanted to be. Braum 2 2 and 10 uh, is sitting with his redemption already, so we'll see exactly. Athene's coming out from Karma and uh, could be the interesting pickup here. 
Ash is going to be getting the Runin's Hurricane as well as the second item. So not really any big damage items so far. Uh, Bork going to do a little bit, but more so for the utilities so far. Um, we'll see what that third item is. It might be something just to add to the probably, damage yeah, Ash does. It probably should be like a QSS. It could very well to get rid yeah. of that Mordekaiser Geyser alt. Mord as well as uh, Sejuani, Sejuani alt, alt and Brom yeah. Flow. Yep, so could very well be a QSS coming out next from the Ash uh, on this one. Farm going pretty well in NAU's favor, though, they, except in the top lane. They do have that farm disadvantage top lane. Um, we'll see. This is going to be... Oh, Jeremy this is here. Jeremy going to get caught out. Doesn't have, he he is, did have flash. He does get he's hard. Yard, now though. he's going to flash and not going to die. Or they're going to die for this. One. this. But Mord is going to die in this one. Oh, Ooh, he's going to... Good Zonyas. Good Zonyas. And actually, bullet time. Oh, he's out of there. He is going to live with the bullet time. Guardian. And continued every, shield. Oh, the Asher. Oh, the Asher. Oh. Able to get the, the kill there. What a nice snipe. So, well done by Jeremy... Or by... Uh, Ian able to finish that kill off so that they at least get something out of it. But now still about not still a good trade though. No, not they, a good trade. They could just go for Baron here. The jungler's dead for ten more seconds. Looks like they might elect to do the uh, the mountain drake. So no decision being made. A little bit of indecision yeah. because they don't know which one they'd like to go I for. I think on the this dragon's one. just the safer play because it is the he safer is, play. He's already respawned, so they could run the Baron. And they wouldn't In be able which to kill case, her. I know you like, might look to just run towards this Baron and start it up while they th while they see. Uh, they don't have vision though, so yeah. they didn't see this dragon be taken, so they didn't have the safe option. So they will just grab some vision around the Baron Pit. Uh, looks like Western Michigan might just roam up towards that now and see if they can't cause the Baron Dance yeah, to start. Well, and it looks like they might want to start this uh, this top lane turret. There's a lot of pings going down onto the Cassiopeia, so she is going to just uh, try to clear this wave and back off. It looks like they do want to path this way. Jeremy is going to see them if they do, so. They're going to go ahead and just clear that top wave as it continues. Braum going to back, and it's going to be the continued push. Darius going to equal out that bot lane, so we'll see how this one continues to play out. Uh, definitely a game that can still turn. About 400 or 4,000, sorry, the gold uh, change here as we do see uh, the bot laners, or the top laners meeting in the bot lane. Um, Australia lanes, as you might put it, if you're the LCS casters. Uh, so it looks like NIU is just going to continue to roam. Going to be three coming around just to make sure that they have vision in their jungle when they uh, when they clear it out here. So red buff is going to be donated over to the Ash. Going to give them a little bit more damage. And actually the uh, BF Sword going to come out. So it looks like a damage item for the Probably third item. Probably going the Edge to just get some extra crit damage. Very well could be doing that. Uh, we're going to continue. Now it looks like Western Michigan does want to position towards the Baron on this one. Clear out some vision and uh, see what they might be able to do with it. It is going to be Jeremy finding the, or actually that's Jessica finding the Sejuani, but not going to take more than one stack there of the Sejuani passive, uh, so not going to be able to get the stun off on that one. Mordekaiser, critically, uh, all four TPs in the game actually available right now, so that's pretty critical every, to this game. Every single summer spell, except for the flash on Diana is up, it looks like. Indeed, it looks like that is the case. So uh, that I couldn't tell exactly where that one fell. Uh, the blue buff might have been actually gone over to um, NIU in that one, or might have gone to Rumble. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, looks like it did go over to Rumble, more than likely, on this one. So good steal from Western Michigan on that. Jeremy is going to get hit with the passive of the Braum, and now going to be forced to back away from this one. As Western Michigan does look like they're positioning towards this Drake, but they are or towards the Baron, but they are going to back away from it. Uh, so, as you mentioned, all the summoners available, yeah, but another, indecisive. Another Spirit's Visage when it should have been an adaptive helm. This one on the. Uh, this time it's on the Darius. On the Darius, okay. It's really good in the Mordekaiser because he's also got the. He's also going to have a Leandre's Torment as well as his passive will also work really well with Adaptive Mask, or Adaptive Helm. Good stun coming through as the big arrow is coming through. That's going to be a lot of damage coming through from Jeremy. Is he going to be able to do it? Yes, he will. Now he's going to... No, he's going to flash. There's going to be the uh, the equalizer to deter them from that one. Questionable but rumble ultimate right yeah. there. Interesting. So that means that they might just start up the Baron on this one, or at least clear out the vision. Uh, looks like Killing they are going to... Killing the Brom probably won't be able to get them enough. It won't be, but Darius not putting a lot of pressure on this, this mid lane. Fort, so they lost and the Rumble, Rumble actually uh, 
sitting in the top lane here. So this is going to be the mid lane turret, like oh, going, more like going down, but uh, actually choice to just clear bullet time going to be cleared or going to use to clear the wave. So. Definitely an unnecessary use right there. Indeed, Probably could have so. just the tower is full health. There's no way that it's dying right there. No. And if they really wanted to, they could just engage on them if they're trying to take the tower that badly. Does look like NAU is going to continue to take this wave as we see. Um, they're going to go ahead and grab this scuttle crab. Oh, oh actually stolen, stolen, well used by the harpoon uh, on the Max rumble range there. So harpoon steals that indeed. So not protected by, uh, not protected well enough. But um, as we continue, it is just going to be this trade of vision. One minute twenty seconds before the next dragon starts up. So it looks like that's going to be the next objective contested. Uh, rather than the top, or rather than the Baron here in this point in the game. We're going to continue to see how this one keeps playing out. Looks like a little bit of a uh, trap coming in with this new... Uh, new wall because of that. They, they but they're going to see that. See they think that that's not Envision, and they're going to actually yeah, yeah, use the ulti here for that. Oh, he's not going to be ulted. Be, well, no, actually, Redemption going to come back down, but that's going to be the damage in there. Is it going to be enough? Going to actually oh, be Cassiopeia. Once yeah, again, not the right... in the death realm. Oh, Almost well done. And actually, Darius is going to be able to get multiple here. Is it going to be the ulti here? One, not going to be the kill coming in, so he's not going to get the reset. Going to be another... Stopwatch. Going to be another spin... To win, oh, oh, that's gonna be the uh, the poison, and actually with the uh, burn down, it's gonna be Darius now gonna get the kill on the draw. The redemption almost killed the Ian there. So. Indeed, but in but the end, it is gonna be dragon, the three for two or four for two in favor of NIU, and they're gonna get the dragon off this one. So well traded. They're gonna stem the bleeding here. So yeah, they're very gonna, uh, very sloppy uh, fight there. They didn't understand how the vision worked right there. Actually, oh, Rumble gonna, gonna burn have... down onto that, but that's gonna be him overheating. So flash forward is gonna be the kill onto the Rumble, and that's gonna be the ace coming out from NIU as they finish this one off. So utilizing the flash. In the end, it looks like that's. Uh, Ian coming online at this point, 4, 3, and 6. He did get the QSS. Yeah, he and the QSS. Got, he is going to go for that Infinity Edge next item as he does have the Cloak of Agility on him as well. Interesting that Misfortune went for a Guardian Angel instead of a crit item. Because there's not a lot of uh, 80, uh, 80 damage on it on each side. It's really just the Darius attack. Most of his damage is true damage, and then the Ash. And Ash probably shouldn't really be in range to hit you unless... No. Out of position as a misfortune, so it I guess is. he just wants to revive passive. Very likely. Um, another interesting thing you mentioned you wanted to see an adaptive helm in this game. We do finally have one on the Sejuani. Yeah, uh, but secondary, yeah. uh, it's a second late. defensive item. We'll see exactly how this one continues to play off. Now, not as much on the health side and more on the uh, resistance side. Yeah, from usually at so. this point, Sejuani would want to have her War Mogs now, but it's probably going to be a third item War Mogs. Could very likely be even later than that. As yeah, they you might want to get an armor one. item too. Yeah, that Spirit's, uh, Spirit's Dissage really delays his uh, uh, War Mogs timer. Mm -hmm. That's a very important item for Sejuani, because then you can just take a bunch of damage and then walk away and come back right in the fight full HP. The Baron Dance continues. NIU actually having the TP advantage in the top lane, and both mid laners have their TPs. So this would be an advantage to NIU if they're able to force the Baron fight. Looks like they're just going to back away from it for now, though. So uh, we'll see exactly how this one goes out. Knights of Vow currently sitting on the Sejuani. Oh, actually, moves back out. That's going to be a aggressive. pick onto the... Uh, onto forcing the, the Flash. Yeah, forcing the Flash from the minutes. Diana. That might be them just... Yet yeah, they decide to commit directly onto the Baron once that Flash is burned. So... We'll see exactly how this one plays out. NIU does look to get vision, and they're going to force this one to go away. So no commitment to the Baron from Western Michigan, and this might actually be NIU's a chance to get back into the game here. Yeah, they used two of their big teamfight ultimates trying to catch the Diana, and I only got half of her health bar in her flash, so they can't really risk taking the Baron now because they have no turn back now. Their turn back is, I guess, Braum. And it that's actually like going to be the catch on to Diana. Uh, not going to be able to get out of that one, so going to be now NIU now looking to have to contest this. Uh, with, the, with the jungler down, it looks like NIU might uh, just have to concede this Baron. Usage. Redemption used to just force them off of that, but uh, yeah. looks like NIU still is going to contest. They do have a lot of 
the damage damage if they're able to trap them in the pit. That's going to be Darius Alti coming through. Well used. Going to be able to get one. He does look like he's got the stacks onto JHK. Could get this onto Mordekaiser if Mordekaiser doesn't die here. That's now two from Darius. He's going to get a third. Could be, oh, going to be stopwatched out. But this could be the ace coming out from NIU. And it uh, does look like that's going to be the case. Darius is going to wait on that one. Going to be able to force this one out. Uh, make it rain, gonna force the, them to follow up here. This bullet time, oh, and the bullet time gets the ash get kill. The he ash might go. be able to win this. He's gonna try to, oh. just turn, and that's actually gonna be NIU starting up this Baron. So, we'll see if they're able to finish this off. It is now 22 to 20 in terms of the kills. The goal is almost dead even, within 300 gold right now. NIU is gonna take a lot of damage in doing this Baron, but it looks like it's gonna finish off. Jeremy's gonna be alive by the time it comes back up. And so, yeah, that's going to be Baron on four members of NIU. The only one not getting it is going to be the ADC, oh, Ian yeah, Crane. A questionable fight there again. It's Mordecai. He keeps ulting, uh, keeps ulting Cassiopeia, but he can't beat her in the 1v1. So Cassio just kills him and then comes out. And then his team couldn't also finish off anybody else. It's really weird. Yeah, I think the decision there is to make sure that he, um, that he takes out the main damage dealer from NIU. But in doing so, he's not able to win that trade. And so... He's forcing his team to have to deal with, you know, one less t or have one less tank in it uh, instead of taking out someone that he, you know, for sure could get. Uh, I think there might not be that priority target for the Mordekaiser. Well drafted by NIU to kind yeah, of deny that. should just be bit. going for, uh, honestly, just taking out the Darius could be huge because then they don't have anyone to team fight. It could be, but I think he's worried that if he does so, he might just get bursted from Darius, and then Darius gets the stats back as well. Darius doesn't have the damage to burst him, though. Like, oh, does he? Oh, yeah, you're right. He's got like the Gargoyle got... stone plate. And this might be the catch on to the... Oh, good dodge onto the arrow, but going to still be... Going to be... Uh, hit with this one. Looks like NIU wants to get priority on this next Careful. Drake cool. to force the match point on both sides. Uh, they are going to back away here. Just make sure they don't lose the Baron buff, but they have to make sure they win these Drakes from here on out. Yeah, they so, need the, these two dragons. It does look like they're going to continue to poke on out here, but uh, well dodged. They do have the Scuttle Crab, so they get that additional burst of movement speed. Well dodged on the E as well from uh, from everybody there to make sure that they don't get caught by the Mordekaiser E. And now Baron, or Dragon is spawned, and it looks like that's going to be the call to just give it up on this one. No, they do come back for this one, but it is going to be bursted late. down. Now it's going to be Darius finding his way onto this kill, or onto this, uh, this Casio team. Again. Alts the Casio once again. going to be a lot of damage onto their backline. That's going to be Ian going in now one. He's already got one, and he's going to just keep on doing damage here on the backline. Magic is going to go into domination here. He's going to get one again. QSS used, but not going to be able to find anything, and that's going to be now a, tr a double kill on Darius and an ace from NIU, and that's going to be 25-23. So with the Baron available to them, they may uh, continue to push this. They're going to move on towards the bot lane, as they do have a wave there. Yeah, they're going uh, to the yeah, they're gonna collect at least two, if not three, with the uh, death timers here. And... Uh, and are you going to have quite a bit of gold in their pocket and already up to a 5,000 lead, but this Baron power play may lead into about a 6,000, if not seven or more. And uh, they're going to look to open up the mid lane here with two turrets taken, possibly three, as they continue through. Yeah, that was a very, uh, very, uh, another awkward fight again. They're not, Western Michigan's not comboing with their ultimates. They need to be layering these ultimates, but they end up just hitting one or two people with all their ults. They do, and that's actually going to be the first inhib going down in favor of NIU. So they're going to get three turrets and an inhibitor, or four turrets and an inhibitor on that push. And uh, NIU going to now back away. Gold in their pockets is going to amount to uh, between, you got, you had already used the Darius, but uh, close to two to 3,000 on every one of the members of NIU right there. And look at Darius, 700 gold get bounty on him, 7, 3, and 10. Uh, we were lamenting his build a little bit earlier. Now he's kind of come online. Build might be a little questionable still, but you can't argue with the fact that he's got that 700 gold bounty and I mean, he's definitely coming online. Western Michigan just doesn't have the damage to kill him. Like, this Misfortune does not have any attack speed in her build. Like... So she has l very little damage. She's kind of relying on that R to do all the damage, but and Darius has a lot of uh, a lot of armor now, so it's not like you can really rely on that. She doesn't have like a black cleaver or anything to rip through him. Mm -hmm. She's trying to get the whisper, but she's also getting a uh, QSS. Not really sure who she's getting that QSS for. Yeah, that's an interesting usage of the QSS. Uh, possibly taking it to you know 
even though it doesn't. My only thought on that one could be that she's thinking it might cleanse the Darius decks, though it does not. Um, but she's, she's interesting getting it for the Cassio. R it could be or for the, the Cassio. Arrow, arrow, but yeah, she honestly shouldn't those, really be getting hit by either of those. No, those are both dodgeable skill shots. So um, the Avarice Blade, interesting pickup there from uh, the side of Misfortune. That's the uh, Executioner's Blade. Oh, that's Executioner's. My apologies. Avarice Blade used to build into Static Shiv. That's right. Executioner's is the one that uh, that has a Grievous Wounds on it as well, correct? Yeah. Okay, so looking for the Grievous Wounds to uh, keep that Darius from healing as much, but that means she has to get the, the damage onto the Darius, and in the same vein, Darius is able to get quite a bit of damage down right away on them here. Cassiopeia going to be forcing the answer from Rumble in that top lane as she split pushes. Uh, NIU able to get a lot of damage here through the Ash. A lot of wave clear with that Runin's Hurricane. And uh, they're going to be pressuring onto the second inhibitor turret. Pulled in is going to be the Sidwani. Going to have to use the dive defensively. Ultimate's going to go on to Darius, but not going to find anything. This is going to be more damage. And that's going to be uh, Diana dive or pulling everybody in here. Going to be a lot of damage onto. Looks like PCH is going to be through this. Wait, this is our last fight. They're going to through here, uh, and we're going to have the. Double kill coming through from Misfortune, but uh, looks like that's going to be a lot of minions coming through, and they're going to be forced to answer here. Uh, NIU has the... There's going to be about two minutes left on this next Drake before uh, before the soul, and Baron does respawn in just about 20 seconds here, so we'll see. This looks like it might be uh, Western Michigan pathing towards that one. I don't know one. what uh, Western Mission's doing. They shouldn't be... Uh, they need to be resetting right now. Two of their players are really low health. <laughs> yeah, it low looks like they the want that desperation play. They're really trying to just rush the Baron down, I guess. So, if this Baron ends up getting caught out, which it does not look like it will, uh, there's still there's no jungler, no top laner, and no ADC from NIU. But they're gonna take the they're gonna take the Baron. But with the Drake, this looks like it'll be Elder Soul going towards uh, or Dragon Soul going towards the side of NIU on this one, uh, if they are positioned correctly here, uh, as we see this one played out. They are gonna rush now towards it. So this is gonna be the fight to see exactly how it goes down. Uh, everybody's gonna be alive on this one though. Forgive me if I'm mistaken. Does uh, Baron still give you additional AP and AD? Yeah, it does. Okay, it does. So this is an, a fight with an advantage towards the side of Western Michigan, but uh, they're going to miss oh, the... Oh, that is going to be Sejuani, but it's not going to be the target. 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 That's going to be one going down. PCH is going to go down again. Mort is going to actually be able to grab out somebody here. Big, oh, huge Cassio big Cassiopeia R. ultimate. That's going to be one. Now a lot of oh, healing comes through from Darius. It's going to be one. Now Ash just going off in the back line. Going to be able to get now onto Wandsworth. With the no attacks, yeah, stop we can't deal with any triple real kill damage. onto the Cassiopeia. That's going to be. I don't know why. They're going to go ahead and grab the soul. Why is doing the dragon? They should just go for the base. They're going to go grab the soul. But uh, anyway, regardless of that, that's going to be game going towards NIU. Game one, NIU takes it with that big team fight here right at the end, and uh, going to be one nothing in favor of NIU. We'll see what happens with game two. But GG to Western Michigan. We'll see you on the flip side of the break.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, sorry about that. We are back again, and uh, we are back with game number two as NIU took down Western Michigan in game number one. Uh, they have switched sides, so as NIU is now on the red side and Western Michigan on the blue side, Cassiopeia and Anivia going to be the first two bands, both targeting Space Marine 18 on the side of Western Michigan. Yasuo and Elise are going to be the bands targeting towards uh, just generally there, I guess, uh, from NIU. And then Darius going to be that final ban from Western Michigan as well as Rumble. So taking off things that were pretty powerful in last game. So we're going to see some different things going on with this one. Olaf going to be the insta-lock there from Western Michigan. That one can be flexed between top or, uh, or jungle. So once again, a flex pick as the first pick, as has been the norm for the last two seasons now. So we're going to continue to see that happen in this game. We're going to see NIU taking their time. They've got eight seconds left to make a pick. It is going to be the Oriana now that it's left up, something that uh, Nathan has been very comfortable on. And they're going to run back that Diana. So interesting. interesting. It was... Uh, it did have impact towards the end of last game. Early game was not as strong as you'd have hoped, but maybe against the Olaf they see something a little bit better in that pick. Ari going to be the hover and the lock-in. Going to definitely be going mid lane with that one. So we'll see exactly what that last show is. If you're uh, doing traditional pick bands, you'd likely pick your uh, your mid or your one of your top half here and then leave your bottom half for the last two so that you have one to answer but it looks like that is going to be the support instead picked up with the Nautilus. Something for waiting for Friday to play. Now NIU has one last pick. Uh, they likely could answer either that, uh, either that um, support or, yeah, likely they're going to answer the support with that one. Uh, we'll see exactly what they do into this. And it looks like it's going to be the Alistar something that definitely when you pair, uh, pair that with the um, the Oriana ultimate, you're going to have a huge wombo once he's able to dive in. Next bands can definitely uh, go through as um, uh, we are going to continue to see that's going to be the Aatrox ban uh, coming through from NIU. Two more bands from Western Michigan. They'll continue on with this one. It's going to be no hover of it quite yet. And Renekton going to be that one. So looks like they're expecting uh, that that uh, top lane to not have been shown. Actually, scratch that. Sorry. The Olaf would be the one that could go top lane. So we don't know what they'd like to answer here. Olaf may well be going top lane if they uh, want something that can't shield break. Actually... If they don't want the red actin, this might be like leaning towards an orn, possibly something with a shield. Um, Misfortune is going to be taken off. The oh, that's right. They they took out a shield, didn't they? Yes. You're right. A while ago. It's been a. Yes, I have missed my orn updates when he was out of the meta for a while. But yes, apologies on that one. Uh, but Misfortune going to be the last band. They didn't like that one. Orn going to be banned anyway by Western Michigan. So who cares on that one? It looks like Crane is going to pick up the Ash once again. Nope, he's going to hover that one. Going to go through a lot of things. Aphelios, Heimerdinger as a possibility here. Not, uh, picking, not Heimerdinger. picking Heimerdinger, Bob, but, you know, going to just nod towards Aphelios. that one. Aphelios could be an interesting pickup here if he's going to lock that in. And with four seconds left, it does look like that will be the lock, and it is. So Aphelios, something very, uh, it's going to be, you know, a lot of power creep in that champ, but we'll see exactly how that plays out. Uh, as we do have now 15 seconds for Western Michigan to lock in their answer on that one. NIU looking like they're going to leave last pick for top lane. Uh, Ash going to be the answer into the Aphelios, so going to trade uh, the ability to play that one. We'll see exactly how that one plays in as we go. Um, as we look here, Looks like the Akali is going to be the pickup for the uh, last pick there. So likely going to be the Akali top and the and the uh, Olaf in the jungle. Talia the hover here. What will be the final pick? And it's going to be the Pantheon, likely. It is the Pantheon. 
I'm not sure how I feel about this. Pantheon into a Kali, or yeah, interesting. It's Pantheon is a. Uh, the, the nerfs to Akali haven't come in yet, so if Pantheon stuns the right as Akali goes for that uh, Shroud, he will not be able to see her. So hmm. it'll make it a lot harder for him to combo his abilities if he can't see her. Is... Am I mistaken? Did they pull that from 10.2? or That's 10.3. Is that a, okay. Those were the uh, confirmed nerfs for Akali. Interesting, because the they had those in the 10.2 um, original testing cycle. And then I thought it was further implemented. Like, it was some nerf in 10.2 and then another nerf in 10.3. So interesting that that hasn't come through yet. That will make it more difficult for Pantheon to play this matchup. Um, I'm intrigued to see how he does so. Uh, but interesting, he is not going to be taking the TP with his ultimate available to him. Um, so we do see Oriana going to have TP. So at least one available on NAU's side. That's leave him open to being punished by repeated ganks. He won't be able to just TP right back, so he's gonna potentially be able to lose a lot of CS if he gets ganked. And one of the main things about Pantheon is that stun, and with Olaf, once he hits six, he's gonna be able to ult away your stun. So we'll see how that plays out. Um, more than interested to see how that is. Uh, also, chat, while we have this short break, go ahead and if you're interested, throw in your picks for today's Super Bowl matchup. You got the San Francisco 49ers against the Kansas City Chiefs, but I'm sure if you care enough about the Super Bowl to have a pick that you know those two teams. So, might as well. Uh, we got, thank you Ricardo for that amazing insight. We've got Mia Filios, me win, Mia Filios, me win, with a bunch of troll champ faces. I those are smork. Are they, they they're that, smork? Is that what that is? Is that what that's called? Oh, I, that's, I, I, don't I don't know Twitch emotes very well. Uh, it indeed, smork. it's smork. S M Ork. Okay. What an emote. Okay. Not one that I was aware of, but you know what? Thank you. Thank you. That is your League of Legends 2019 coordinator for Northern Illinois University's Esports Club. Coming in with the the, the terrible emotes. Ter the, the absolute meme content. Fantastic. There's my but, tech W email, Ricardo. Anyway, though, anyway, you know, as the NIU, we do want to mention as the NIU Varsity Esports Program, we're very excited about, you know, all the possibilities that we have going on with this. We're really excited about this competition that we're a part of. Um, and we want to mention that we have the three main pillars that we're going to be, you know, that we adhere to here. We have building community, promoting healthy gaming practices, and supporting new technologies in learning and education. So, NIU Esports, we're very big fans of all of these things. That being said, we'd like to, uh, you know, we want you guys to have the same sorts of ideals. Thank you very much. Anyway, one minute left before we get into game, and we are at, uh, well, let's go through this matchup one more time. I mean, we've got Akali Pantheon, we've got Olaf, Diana in the jungle, Ari Oriana in the mid lane, Ash Aphelios in the ADC role, and Nautilus Alistar. Let's go lane by lane. Akali Pantheon. What what's the advantage? Well, oh Pantheon did not actually take him. No, he did switch the oh, TP last switch. second. I just yes. noticed that now. I did as well. So, so. that lowers his uh, kill potential early, but uh, he's he will still fall off a cliff after enough time, as well as I still think it's probably a pretty big skill matchup for the who's gonna win this. Olaf Diana. Uh, this one could honestly go either way, but like if Diana walks into an Olaf pre level six, there's a good chance Olaf will just straight up kill her. If he can right. land an axe. Mm -hmm. And if he can consistently land those axes, she's she's gone. Mm -hmm. Um Ari Oriana. How's that matchup uh, gonna play that out? That one's more of a definitely a skill matchup. It could honestly go either way. Uh, Ash, Ash Nautilus, Aphelios Alistar to finish it off. I haven't had much uh, experience with Aphelios, but I do know he's rather quite strong. So it could go either way, but if Nautilus can land a hook on Aphelios, it's probably going to go to the Ash Nautilus. But same thing, if Alistar can land a good headbutt combo, it could just go the other way. And oh, as we noticed, I uh, actually didn't get to see that quite yet, but it uh, did look like there were some masteries over on the side of Western Michigan. In comparison, NIU's masteries weren't quite as high as they were last game. Uh, looks like we're about a minute and 45 seconds before we can start this for you. We'll switch over at that time, but we do want to uh, you know, finish this one off. So. As we mentioned, it's going to be mash summer spells all the way across once again. Uh, so, you know, 
as expected, we've been seeing that most matchups so far this year. Uh, Double TP is an insanely strong matchup for them. Uh, we do have now uh, just waiting on another couple of minutes. Actually, an interesting choice here is Ari took the minion dematerializer so and the glacial augment. So let's go through their runes. We've got Akali taking the lethal tempo or the fleet footwork, I should say, not to be uh, ex or pretty expected. Um, Conquer on the Olaf, so not his most tanky summoner spell, but more what you'd expect once no, again. The only summoner spell Olaf can really take. Really? I thought that he could take some of the Resolve Tree. Interesting. He can't take Aftershock. He can't really take Grass because he's a jungler. He can't take Guardian because he's also a jungler. Mm. Okay. So there's nothing really he can take other than Conqueror or maybe like Electrocute, but that, that doesn't scale very well. Are you taking the more uh, the, the Glacial Augment? So yeah, more he's going to go for um, that Super Soaker build. build. Yep, the, the, super uh, soaker. the Super Soaker as well as the Ghosts. Mm -hmm. So it'll make it pretty difficult for anyone to just run away if they get hit by either of those. Lethal Tempo Ash as expected and Aftershock Nautilus as expected. However, on the side of NIU, uh, we're going to see, once again, Conquer on both the top and Jungler. Aerie on the mid laner. Uh, press the attack on Crane. So I've seen a couple of different builds for Aphelios. I've seen both um, press the attack and then I've seen Conquer. Uh, I've heard mixed reviews on both, so I'm not sure which one, uh, but it looks like press the attack is the one he's going to take for this game. And then Alistar is going to take the ever, uh, the ever uh, trustworthy Aftershock. We are ready to get into game, so let's go ahead and get the action started. And as I'm doing so, let's make sure you guys can see the game. There you go. Give it uh, just just a second. It'll, it'll show up. There it is. Hello, everybody. All right. So as we continue on, it does look like the way the Pantheon's running down, it does look like they might be looking for an invade here. Yeah, both teams are running right down the middle. Yeah, they want to hit the, that jungle first, and they want to see what happens here. Looks like they're going to set up the, the Fanatic Brush. Uh, not the right brush for the Fnatic brush, but Olaf is going to check this one. Uh, looks like NIU, NIU is has... currently split right now, yeah, so if they get into a 5 fight, they're, they're So there's the push. Behind. Waiting for Friday is going to re-engage here. Alistar is going to check it back in, it's and actually fine. that's going to be... Oh, misses the headbutt. Oh, doesn't end up getting this, so going to be able to dive this one back. Space Marine is oh, going to get, get the first second blood, blood they one right, back, it right back. This is still going to be the fight continuing on here. Charm is going to continue to miss. Another flash. This is going to be Should another be kill. Crane is going to go down. Now let's continue Pantheon. to see how this goes. Pantheon going to die too, as well. Like, yeah. So this is actually disastrous. One. So not quite what either team was. Well, Ashes definitely what. A really you know, big start. Yeah, definitely what um, you know Western Michigan was looking for, but not what NIU was looking for in the slightest. Uh, yeah, so we're going to continue to see how this goes. Those two long swords. And oh my goodness, two long swords and her uh, her Doran's blade, just not the start that you're looking for if you're NIU. Uh, Pantheon did get one, so he's gonna he grab did get the first blood, he gets so the they long do get sword 50 extra, as well. A hundred extra gold on that first kill, but then they lose two more, so they lose that gold lead. So they're so. gonna be down by about 700 gold right away. Mm -hmm. Not the not the biggest deficit, but definitely doesn't feel good to go in the laning phase with a gold deficit like that. No, it doesn't, and. Uh, Especially, I think what NIU forgot about on this one is Aphelios is one of those champions with... In fact, he may be the weakest level 1 champion in the game because he has access to no abilities except for his auto attacks at that point. Definitely um, not the weakest, but definitely one of the weakest. So, a very interesting... I mean, without any... You know, he has no ability to access those. So... Going to be a stun back towards the Akali. Going to actually get quite the good trade here. Looks like this may be a practice matchup a little bit for uh, for Magic here. We'll see exactly how that well, one plays out. Pantheon just needs to really play aggressive, really, because he does have a lot of base damage, as well as he does have that extra long sword that gives him a little bit of extra damage. He does, and despite being down, you know, the two long swords here, Crane doing a really good job of keeping even in farm here, uh, making sure that, you know, he's able to... Push Seems this like Ash way. is already out of mana. It's Olaf like, already up on the top lane, so he's going to look for this dead. one. They don't have, and that's going to be the, far down. the flat or the TP right back in. He's going to use that back. Now it's going to be the kill. Actually, right onto the Oriana, so well done on the TP. And that's going to be actually now Ari going to go in and, and teleport and suicide on that one. 
So how are you going to get right back in the lead after that one? What a play yeah, by Yeah, Fane was able to, to stall off a lot of time with that E, giving him directional vulnerability. Mm -hmm. Just gave him just enough time for his jungler as well as mid laner to get there. They had the, the TP first, so the already TP a little bit late, and it was too, too late at that point. He ended up getting killed as well. Yes, yeah, so as we continue on through here, we're going to see... Uh, Chat, if you don't mind, you know, we have been... We haven't been changing the scene until we're in game, um, just because I'd rather show you guys, you know, the champ select and what the bands were and everything. But if you'd rather see the uh, paused uh, in-game screen while we're waiting for the game to start, please let us know, and we'll change that for next week or for game three as necessary. Uh, this game actually, NIU up about 700 to 800 gold right now because yeah, of that. That play turned yeah. uh, the gold pretty much back on its head. Gave him, you, the old, gave him the old reverse card on that. Uh, yeah on that gold lead and turn it to a 700 gold favorite. And yeah. soon enough, uh, this could be, you know, if if this game goes the way NIU'd like it, it would be an Uno as well. But it uh, does look like Olaf's posturing down towards this bot lane. He is going to prepare his back, and uh, NIU now going to be a little too far. Gets the hook. Gets the hook on there. He does gonna miss the heal. The, yeah, going to miss that. He ignited, so the heal's not going to heal as much, and nope. he doesn't opt to even use it. No. It's possible as well as, he might be losing the Alistar, too. He does have... Flash. Does that but flash gonna actually barely do dodges that hook? That hit he probably was dead too. My what I found interesting on this one was um was that uh, Aphelios opted not to change into healing or if he did he opted not to use his Q if it was available, which the Q would have not only given him the the ability to back away, but also would have given him faster attack speed at that point. So I'm surprised by the lack of usage, but that's... I'm guessing he probably just didn't have it. Yeah, it's, it could very well have been I know down. he had... He let's have, let's take a had, second. I think he had Sniper. Let's, let's take a second here. We want to get back to 530, so let's go back towards this fight, and let's see if he had it available at that time. So I'm going to... Let's look here. He had he was on Calibrum. He what was his what was his secondary weapon then? Uh, the pink one. Well, was it? Yeah. So he had healing. He opted not to use the healing. He did on this get one. the ignite, so he did lose the grievous wounds. He, he so did. He wouldn't have been healing as much anyways. No, he wouldn't have been. But as well it as Ash been, also, it seems like had her heal up. But the attack speed on the on the red Q. The, you gain attack speed and movement speed by about 15%, so could have actually killed this Ash, as well as Mark. He would have gotten a Mark probably on the Ash. So. Just, probably just would have forced off the, the heal yeah. of anything, because he, so. he was already ignited, and he was just mm -hmm. slowly burning down. Yeah, so interesting. We'll see I, We'll see how that one plays out, but uh, as we continue, that's going to be that going through. Uh, kill still even. In the end, doesn't really matter after everything is said and done. Pantheon definitely getting fed uh, already up to two components compared to just the uh, just the amplifying tome on the Akali. So he's going to be feeling really good. Plus his boots already, so he's going to be feeling extra good up in that top lane. Uh, whereas Ash already with the Bilgewater Cutlass um, and the Longsword in that one. Or the is that... Longsword? No, dagger. 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 My apologies. Um, so, continuing on through this one. Despite being down the, the kills and uh, all, it does look like Aphelios is doing much better at the farming here so far in this game. Uh, same thing with the mid lane building up quite, quite the farm lead, and that's going to be Dragon going over towards NIU. They're going to commit all five members to this one to make sure that they get that Ocean Drake and that's going to feel really nicely uh, for them to continue to get that healing as they go. And are you now going to keep on rotating? They're not going to go to the Australia lanes quite yet. Only a 400 gold lead as they did even out that farm in the bot lane uh, due to the dragon take that the bot lane committed to. Uh, Pantheon not quite using ultimate yet he does have it available uh but it looks like oriana is going to roam with the pantheon so this might be a kill on there as oriana is not going to be spotted the ward was up in the up in the upper brush that's going to be the just build the e out. yep the, or, uh, the flash onto it not going to be able to get the damage display. but unfortunate for an you they're not able to kill that one off yeah, and 
Uh, did Waste have the flash. ulti available, unfortunately, so... Yeah, they ended up trading flashes, although through. Akali does lose that really large wave, but fortunately Olaf's able to just pick it up instead. Uh, and that's not who you really want your uh, gold to be on. No. So, uh, it looks like we've got Diana finishing off that Rift Scuttler in the top lane, so they're going to have a little bit of movement speed and uh, and vision up towards the top side. Ari now going to be forced off the wave a little bit, and uh, the full uh, the full Lost Chapter finished on both of those mid laners. Uh, but Boots on, on Orianna, which they are not quite ready yet on there. Uh, going to be actually finished off the smite Ooh, yeah. with uh, the blue buff for or, or for uh, Olaf. Going to be wave. flashing over the shockwave. Could be a two for nothing here. Two free kills here. Yep. And uh, Pantheon is going to just get killed by the... They can just go the right rest. to the Rift so they, Yeah, they are going to grab the Rift Herald on Nathan this one. was able to get out by using his flash. He's able to get away from Nikali. So that's two kills over towards... Western Michigan, and they're up six to four now in the kills. Very aggro early game so far. Yeah, no, Ten kills in eight minutes. Gold. So they got the they cashed in on that Pantheon shutdown. They did. Fortunately, it did go over the Olaf. So I guess that's a silver lining for any of you. The Olaf got the huge shutdown, and not like the Akali or the Ari. It does look like even though they gave, they're going to give over the uh, Rift Herald towards the jungler once again, as you might expect. But uh, if it's anything like last game. The Rift Herald usage wasn't uh, wasn't perfect last game, so we'll see if that you know comes back to them again. Should just be able to probably could just go down and drop it somewhere. Probably like probably a good place to drop it would be top lane because he doesn't have no no flash on Pantheon, so if he gets hit by an axe, good chance he just straight up dies. Indeed, and it looks like that's where he's pathing right now. He's in a pretty good spot. The wave's in a very very bad spot, but I guess he does he does path over a ward. So I guess that's kind of unfortunate. It, as the ward expires, literally ten, like three seconds after it passes over it, it's uh. Indeed. Um. So we do see that does look like Olaf or sorry, Nautilus is roaming up towards this mid lane now that Diana is helping to get that first plate towards it. Uh, they're gonna back away. Ash Arrow comes in. Are they gonna be able to grab this? Ooh, it is gonna land Diana. onto the onto the Oriana, and uh, they're just gonna right hundred and nothing this Oriana. And actually, oh, Shockwave does come through, but does go not. Through. No, it, it doesn't. Die right as he casted it. It did. So another uh, unfortunate. Would have probably been able to get the uh, get the Ari there, or at least maybe mm -hmm. force out a flash. And that's gonna be first now tower they going down drop the since they dropped that they're Rift. Probably gonna get two towers here because the tower is already pretty low. Maybe not. The Rift Herald might die, because there are still two plates left. Yeah, that Rift Herald's going to die on the uh, on this yeah, one here, it'll so die. it won't even finish off the turret here, and they're going to TP in. TP, to, that could be... That's yeah, going to be very highly right committed, there. but going to, yeah, just going to commit to this one. And now, oh, oh, Shockwave, since it was still available, does force the flash from Ari, yeah. but... Uh, well done doesn't to make sure it doesn't else. get that. Too bad. And the dragon is about to spawn, but Ari does have TP, so if they did want to recall the Ari and TP back for it. It does look like they might, might have been a little bit of an overstay by Western Michigan, because now NAU has perfect uh, perfect uh, opportunity to get the dragon right now. Indeed they do. Uh, going to be Pantheon turning right back onto this Kali. Kali's going to try to get a little bit of damage down, but not going to be able to do enough with it. So... Looks like now it's just going to be Ari TPing in towards her mid lane, so it doesn't look like they want to commit that towards the dragon fight. So, even though that does spawn in about 20 seconds now here, so we'll see exactly how this one all plays out as we go. I know he's just trading off the blue right now. Looks like they might just go right for it, but because Olaf did not back after he. Uh Cashing all that gold. It no, he didn't. Like. But that's going to be a lot of damage onto the on a waiting for Friday on that Nautilus, and he's going to now a lot more onto uh, Ash. Ola, or Diana is pathing down just in case that does continue to be a fight. But that's going to be Niu forcing that away, and it looks like they do want to commit towards this Drake on that one. Uh, they are going to look towards Olaf. Now going to be a fight. Olaf up off. two just levels on, right into on Diana, door. and now going to be the kill here. Um, uh, going to be seeing how long it takes for them to react here. Oriana not going to die yet, so we'll see like exactly all, how this goes. Right That's going to be Ash going full uh, full out of mana, but going to be oh, Pantheon, Pantheon now coming now through. Too. So uh, 
Dustadon does but get a crane, but Felius let's see die. exactly how oh, this goes. Oh, back with the Kali yard. does get this one, so this could be now two. Pantheon's going to get a double on that one. Yeah, He'll trade it. And, uh, oh, Akali. Oh, Akali's going to dive through here. We'll actually get killed. Ooh, nice job by R Nathan. Thought. That R to is make just sure back bad. up in time, it looks like. It does, and looks like they're just going to have to give up the Drake on this one. We're going to have to give up Mountain Dragon. Let's see what Dragon is. Let's hope it's Infernal. I don't want to see a Cloud Dragon here. Come on. Give, don't give me a Cloud Dragon. Infernal. Oh, oh, it's Cloud. Oh, it's Cloud Dragon. Cloud Drake comes out. So we're going to see the Resident quicker Resident Sleeper wins. Dragon. The Resident Sleeper. So, 12-7. Like uh, th yeah, oh, geez. Don't give... I'm sitting here with my TSM hat, and we've got Quinn. Had to, had to throw a jab in there. Mm -hmm. That's all right. Anyway, this is the college season. It's better for us than, you know, LCS. But anyway, uh, let's see how this one plays out. It does look like Nautilus is going to be able to get that. But um, if we look back to next week, as, if we look back to next week, or last week, sorry, uh, Cloud Drake was the one that NAU was able to really take advantage of the best when that came out, and they were able to make some pretty great roams with it. So let's see if that's able, you know, it may not be our favorite as viewers, but it could it opens up a lot of possibilities on the map for a lot of roaming and it's very really quick good for roams. Holly and Olaf because once they activate that R they just go super fast and mm -hmm. just easily run anyone down. Yeah, so this is it might actually you know it, it might help the uh, them more than the Pantheon is he's gonna try oh, to this could be oh a solo actually kill. yep no, but Diana's no Diana's gonna, gonna show up deter that so deter it right away. And uh, so well done. So he, actually, going to be way too far going in. Right so away. We'll see He's if gonna that's going to be the stun, but yeah, not going to be enough. And that's actually going to be Diana using the ultimate or the E actually, but Should not be with um, Alistar. Okay. Well done with the Burns flash. flash so die. Does look like this is going to be the advantage towards uh, Western Michigan. So uh, Orion now going to roam down to make sure this tower does not drop as well in the bot lane. Uh, let's see if Pantheon can't, uh, can't do anything. That gunplay's about to come up, it looks like. He's not going to be able, able to do this. Chase him. Yeah, they're going to chase, and uh, unfortunate for him, he should not have stayed there. Let's see, he's, he's going to take out this minion, and actually, he might be able to turn this. Oh, uh, turret does go down, is so. down, so Olaf will not die to that. No, so he's already unfortunate. Healthy too. But, yeah. We'd need another two or three tower shots for that. Yeah, this Pantheon pick has uh, started off really hot, but now it's uh, fizzling out and dying a lot. Oh, I I don't want to, you know, I I don't want to say the I don't want to critique because I I'm not at the level that mo many of these players are, but I'm a little bit uh, I'm a little bit con not concerned but surprised by the Aphelios pick. I think last week NIU used it as well, and it didn't look as great as you'd have thought. Um, I know that... That was pre nerf too, I think. It was, and I think that it's it's a great... It's an interesting champion, but I think that it's something that Crane is not as practiced on as... Probably not as practiced you, as he should be on it. And, and I think this Diana is, in theory, a very good champion as well, but I think the early game's been shut down pretty heavily so far yeah, in two matchups. Yeah, he hasn't so been really able to I, uh, do if, what he wants to do on it. If we see a game three out of this matchup, I think I'd like to see something other than that Diana in the jungle, but we'll see exactly how that plays out. Um, that top half of the map is looking mighty scary from the side of Western Michigan right now. Definitely. So uh, we'll see how this one all plays out. Obviously, only 16 minutes in. There is time for a turnaround. Uh, this Cloud Drake could definitely change things with you know, some crazy teamfight ultimates in the side of NIU. Um, and yeah, on both sides, you know, they, that, yeah, some those tricks could definitely... ultimates with uh, the Orianna ult or even uh, yeah. the Ash Arrow being up a lot sooner would be really good. So, as well as that Akali ultimate, so you can just have even more kill pressure. So all both teams would like this, to, but that's actually going to be Orianna finding what? the Damn, Ash, but down, now... He be... gets hit by that Glacial Augment slow. Yes, so... He just can't dodge the skill shots anymore because he's just too slow. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be... Another kill coming over for Western Michigan. So this one looks, you know, you don't want to call it too early. Now that's the second yeah, repair drop being dropped. You should just be able to take lane. this tower and then use that momentum they get with the tower to just take the next dragon. And it is up in the next minute and 20 seconds, so Diana going to get hit by that this, uh, uh, Rihanna this, Orb. This is the second repair. This does a lot of damage as Rift Tail. Oh, oh, and this is the Akali. 
Well, you should just be able to run it down with the other. There is the yeah, there it is. executing them. And the other thing I want to mention is, you know, I, I neglected to think about it at the time that I, you know, I was Ooh, talking about. the eye. But I, I want to, I do want to mention that NIU did have that unfortunate start to the game. And I think that really set them behind in this one. So I, I think that this one. But they did have that turnaround. They did have the tough. turnaround too. So, you know, you, it's unfortunate, but I think. The Ash really hasn't been the problem as much, which, after that fight, you might have thought it would be. I mean, the, the arrows have been a problem, but not necessarily the Ash as mm -hmm. itself. So having those kills doesn't really make it more impactful. It's the arrows landing that is still Indeed. impactful. So even if he wasn't fed, the arrows would still be an issue for NIU. And that's going to be the first Cloud Drake coming Ooh, over right. towards... Nice Nautilus hook. Oh, nice dodges the shockwave. With the shockwave, but... Uh, now it's going to be all the damage coming through onto the Olaf. Oh, He's going to die on this one. Okay. Going to force out the flash from Oriana. And Pantheon now going to come through, but not going to be able to land that did, well. And so they're just going to... With that axe just to slow them all the way down. Oh, and Diana walks directly run in. into two people. So a Diana walks into a bar and gets and what immediately happens? blown up. That sounds like oh, a... Oh, there's the Aphelia assault, but he just doesn't have the Post damage nerf, to do Post-nerf, it doesn't do damage. quite as much, and... Uh, gonna gonna force that one out, but I'm gonna clear the wave. They're all a little bit chunked. Interesting that is heal. heal. I'm not sure why he healed there. I don't think I don't even think he was gonna get hit by that, nor take enough damage to die from it. Mm -mm. So that will mean the heal's not up when uh, this Baron fight happens. But at the same time, this is an 0, 06 and two, uh, and at the same time, a three levels down jungler in the side of NIU. So. Not going to help anything on the... Or could help on the Baron fight, but going to rely on a Miss Smite from the Olaf in order to do so. Uh, but at this point in the game, about a 7,000 gold lead. Pretty substantial from Western Michigan. I'm thinking that this one might be headed to a game three. You know, I don't really like what this Ari's doing. She was going to recall, but then she's like, oh, I can get the blue buff. So I, I, I hope she doesn't recall after taking this, because that would just waste most of the duration of it if she just recalls right away. It so looks I like he's not going to do that because that's going to be like half of it drawn, and there he is, is. going to recall. So he's going to waste about half the duration of that when he could have just recalled and then taken it. So I'm not really sure what he was thinking with that. He, I guess unless he needed the extra hundred gold, but he could have taken something else instead to get mm -hmm. that gold. And it looks like that's the twin shadows coming out. So full yeah. now he's got the, build. the full super soaker with the spooky ghosts. So, and it, he did need the extra 100 gold. Yeah, he did so. need it. Probably should have just done the Gromp or something else, but whatever works. Having those is going to be really huge, because now they can just send those off into the jungle and it'll find anybody who's nearby, as well as slow them so there's even more potential, because that could set up an Ash Arrow, and then even more combo from there. Yeah, I'm thinking at this point that this one is... Um, this one's... Getting towards the end here. The headbutt doesn't... There's the arrow. Oh, Ooh. the arrow goes wide, so through the uprights. Not as, far uh, enough over on that throw. You know, with the uh, with the Super Bowl today, the through the uprights, it's good. Uh, but yeah, yeah. Thankfully, he's got that Cloud Dragon, so it's going to be up a little bit sooner than it would be normally. Because mm -hmm. right now, his build doesn't have any uh, CDR, so having that Mountain Dragon, or Cloud Dragon, is very helpful. Looks like NIU is just going to play a vision game here. Uh, about two and a half, three minutes before the next Drake spawns, and so we're just kind of stalling out the game right now. Looks like Western Michigan is going to start up this Baron. Uh, NIU doesn't really have the option to... Uh, they're all there, though, so they're probably going to need to peel back because so. they don't want to get caught by any... And NIU or just is NIU might... just not know what's happening? They might not know what's happening. Okay, I think they're aware now. Yeah, they they see the now they the, see they see everyone disappear in a flag war. Oh, he just jumps right in and they stole it. They, they got it. it. They but get they, one now. That's two. And they win the fight afterwards, though. Kali is a uh, the Ash. Let's Ash see. Is, that's oh. now dead. That's a Kali as well. And I was able to turn this one around. They're gonna flash out. Pantheon is gonna Pantheon die, dies. but this is gonna be a three for two. Oh, Actually, he's just standing on the ward. He is standing on the ward in the stun. He's got to land this. Ooh, and that's going to be a 4 for 2 in favor of NIU. NIU gets themselves right back in this game. This Ari, though, still 3 1 and 11. Yeah, that's not to be. They did catch a lot of shutdown. They cashed in a lot of shutdown gold on that. Uh, the 
Olaf, right onto the Orion, right where you want that uh, cashed in on. Indeed. So now with Baron on four members of the team, and uh, the... Should just be able to push down this mid tower and maybe try to collect some of the extra gold on the other, on the other side of the map, as well as get that next Cloud Dragon. Mm -hmm. I noticed the, the gold has now gone from about a 7,000 gold deficit to NIU only down 3k. The power of that Baron to be able to get that power play. We'll see exactly how this plays out. They are going to look for this next Baron. It is going to spawn in, or this next Drake, I should say. It is going to spawn in 20 seconds. They're going to look for that one and see if they can't take it. Uh, NIU looking to clear out the vision here. Uh, and it looks like Western Michigan still wants to contest this to put them on Drake Point. That's a lot of damage from the Oriana right onto that, uh, right onto the... Uh, Nautilus, but this is going to be Pantheon getting oh, chased down. That the R, no, the, all, oh, or the ultimate does get. He does get Zanya's off, but he has like 10 HP. Oh, he dies to a Good Nautilus. damage though from the Aphelios. He's going to be able to get one back in oh, here. Kyle's now he's going to. going to be on the wrong side here though. Oh, so no, it's going to be the fight back on NAU. They're going to be able to clear this one out. Fight. Yeah, it's four and NAU will burn. Five no, for he's not going to burn down. So. Five for one, Disastrous not a clean NIU. ace, but an ace, and uh, that's going to be where this game goes right back into Western Michigan's favor, so we'll see exactly how yeah, this one plays out. One Drake away now from that soul. They are on Drake if point. If they get so. that soul, it's going to be very hard for them to deal with the Olaf, because he's just going to press R and directly into that back line and just start tearing them up. Diana now back up, so is going to be able to clear this before they take out the inhibitor turret. So that's now, where NIU's they, last hopes are going to lay. Yeah. Is they that got that they gold lead back up to 5k now. Ash is uh, probably close to finishing her next item. You know, needs about yeah, needs about a thousand gold it, for so. that. A little over a thousand gold to get that item. Interesting. He's just going to go Olaf right. Olaf's just going to go on. straight on to the uh, Oriana and oh, Oriana. It's a little too early. It the, looks like. Yeah, but he the does still get it. He's got a lot of damage with that guardian angel plus warrior, and as well as the conquer proccing immediately. Mm -hmm. So looks like this one is. Uh, I don't want to say it's over quite yet, but it's, it's uh, not looking not good. Good, looking good for an IU quite at this point. So it's going to require another miracle steal as well as a great fight afterwards once again in a yeah. couple of great fights in order to get back into this one so uh, we'll see exactly this one's gonna have to go back to the drawing board I'd say uh, we'll see exactly who picks that one up um, interesting if uh, interesting choices be, here uh, as Nautilus here. He's way they are gonna out get the position. Nautilus here the actually he's still alive. there he is that's gonna be taken by uh, cr by crane on the Aphelios Ari oh, now or Akali right. now on the wrong side here and gonna dive in, oh, gonna get one, and be able to slam the Diana. Gonna be able to good, get pulled good back, actually. Wave, good shockwave, no but not gonna be able to kill. To so get the they're gonna kill. walk away here. So gonna be a one for one extended on this. Uh, not really. I didn't get to see quite how much gold uh, the Diana was worth, but I don't imagine the Diana's worth a lot of gold. No. So probably an advantage on NIU's side here, just for getting the one kill. Uh, gonna be the turret placed down from Aphelios. And uh, he's going to clear out that wave as well as the Oriana. Now Pantheon is going to be able to clear some of this vision. We'll see exactly how much once they continue through oh, here. Are they going to be able to see the war? They walked nope, over. they didn't. And now, now they're going to be able to see it. So they will clear that one. And uh, we'll see exactly how this all plays out. Are 15 the, kills down. Ari should be uh, close to getting her... Uh, oh, she's very, very close to getting that Zanya. It's probably about... 400, 500 gold off of it. So she's going to go down to the bot lane to try Polly to clear is, all uh, that. Probably sitting on a lot of gold right now. Mm -hmm. Doesn't seem to have purchased anything. He's sitting on 1,000 gold, so he's probably just waiting to get some more... Uh, probably starting to get that death cap, it looks like. So he didn't buy any other components. Yeah, so as we continue on there, uh, we do see that, you know, they're going to just continue through this fight, and uh, it does look like Western Mission's just going to clear out some more vision. Uh, that Olaf up. Now, uh, still three levels on that. So it's a uh, vision score from some of the members of NIU. Not really uh, contributing a lot to their vision. 
The only one I really noticed being heavily in one favor, Oriana's kind of been pushed off of everything, but uh, yeah, the three from Crane might be a little bit problematic at this point, uh, yeah, but we'll he's see. Not exactly any the control words are, and he's not really using his blue trinket. Probably saving those for when the Baron spawns to see it. Mm -hmm. And it looks like Western Michigan's pinging onto the Baron, and I was going to try to play some vision there, but uh, yeah, they got that point, tower, so they're just going to rotate to this side. Uh, some of their vision is being uh, taken out, and uh, NIU is placing their own vision. Another Ash Arrow. Oh, it does hit somebody, but not the right target. It Although still looks like it, it is going to go not quite wide. Interesting. Well a flash done. from the Ash flashes directly into the entire enemy team. But, but there's no just, damage right yeah. now because they're so far behind, and it doesn't really impact them too much. Yeah, the, now going to be the, the Oriana went right just... into that shockwave, so she could not deal any damage to the Ash that was out of position. Diana He's able to get one, one but... Kill of the Ash, but... That is a summonerless Ash, so she really couldn't get out of that anyways. Oh, she, I don't, I'm not sure if she just bought that stopwatch or if she had that, that for that fight, but she probably could have lived with that. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing she probably just purchased that after uh, yeah. dying. I'm thinking so as well. Looking back, and I, and it does look like... you can see this is going on, so there's a chance that uh, Aphelios goes for another steal, but he is losing his only ward. He does have his blue trinket. Maybe he'll uh, finally decide to use it. See if he can uh, see them, but Akali might be just going. Might think I just go over the pit and kill him, but it looks like they're just gonna send Nautilus instead to zone because they need Akali for damage, since they lost their Ash. We're gonna just give this dragon up. And NIU is gonna look to have to contest this last ocean. Is, next, is the dragon up right now? It is up. So looks like NIU is gonna walk down to it and on, see if they can't take Ari it. If they want to try to just get there quickly because it looks like NIU is running there right now. Gonna... Honestly, NIU should probably just give this dragon, honestly. That way they have a chance to go for the Elder. Because 10% ultimate CDR isn't really going to change how these fights are going. And that's going to be the Ash ulti, so this might be uh Should just kill. be gone. Gonna now be that. He's going to just all Olaf in. is going to use his ulti, but he's not going to get much out of it, so... Probably should have just given... almost want to say just give the soul over, because it just... Because then they'd be able to get the Elder Dragon. I think they're worried about the, uh, the movement speed on yeah. the... Uh, on the attack, though. Yeah. Especially with But the they do Olaf. have Baron now to Seizure. They got two cannon minions here. Ooh, well done. Nice to, shock that's going to force the uh, uh, stopwatch from the Ash. Are. Now going to be killed. That's going to be yeah, one. Ash could still be two. Has no still stuff. a stun onto the Nautilus. So could be another one here. Going to be Ari's pushing it forward. Here, Ari's not, but uh, I'm going to be able to get two out of this one and maybe push down towards yeah, this. Yeah, they want to take this tower. Um, Disrespectful to positioning from the Ash there. Still has no summoner spells and just was walking right up to that tower. They honestly should have just waited and let their cannon minions do all the damage because they did have two of them. It looks like Olaf just takes no damage here from yeah, anything. He's, a, so. he's at four full items already. He's almost looks like he's going for that black cleaver now, so he can just shred some of that armor. And, and another thing we haven't to touched on quite yet, NIU has yet to take a, uh, a turret this game. Yeah, so they're, they're trying to get that mid tower. They'd right like now, to, but, but it doesn't look like they're going to be able to get it quite yet because the wave clear from the Akali and the Olaf is just so dang yeah, strong. And Ari's here too. Yeah. Oh, there's the Ash ulti. Going to come into. They hit the Aphelios. They hit the Aphelios. They, did get they didn't uh, didn't back away here. So this is going to be no oh, R on the ulti on the... from Diana. Or from Oriana is going to land on nobody and is going to now get her killed. And uh, that's going to be the shutdown this could be there. Game so this here. Is they got be game. 40 second death timers. And the only one left up is Pantheon. They oh, still have Baron buff on a few of their members. This is a 100% game. This, this totally is going to go game, game, game right three. Here. So uh, we'll be on to game three here. Pantheon is going to have to try to hold this one by himself. Uh, Nautilus is going to just back what? away from that. 18 but... seconds on, uh, on the. Uh... Aphelios, though, they're, they're, they're looking for the end. They still have Baron buff. These minions are pretty tanky. And I, you uh, would have to turn this around really quickly, and, uh, you know, a throw here would be uh, problematic. Pantheon. Pantheon is oh, not going to go down quite yet. But uh, that's going to be... Game. No, not quite. No, they will end the game no, right now. Yeah, that's the game. So we're going to go to game three, and uh, we'll see exactly how this one plays out. GG Western Michigan... They take that one, so we're going to go to game three.
The night lay waste to all we'd give her But honestly You've gotta know that this ain't living But we could run From Elysium And let it burn, let it burn You've gotta know Nothing lasts
Champs, like, sorry about that. We were a little late getting back, but looks like Western Michigan has banned out the uh, 
the Anivia and the Darius, and NIU has banned out the Olaf and the Elise. They were worried about that Olaf after last game, and it is not on the table anymore. Cassiopeia going to be the one coming off the table from Seem uh, exactly Western Michigan. From Western Michigan. Indeed. And then the Akali. So NIU has shifted their bands. Western Michigan has not. We'll see how that plays into game number three. NIU re right back on the red side. Western Michigan back on the blue side. And we're going to be 1-1. This is match point. The winner moves on to 2-0 and tied for first place in the West. That's going to be the Yasuo. It's been banned Runners all games. And we... Uh, you know, we, we were wondering why. We'll get to see why here in this one. Uh, definitely a Feast or Famine champion. Uh, I think it's JHK might play it. Could also be going towards uh, Dusk to Dawn. But we'll see if NIU has an answer for this one. NIU now hovering. Not yeah. quite yet. They're five seconds. I'm hoping seconds that they maybe take the Gragas away. Oh, Gragas. Perhaps taking yeah. away the Gragas Yasuo combo. But I'm not really Could sure be a if Jeremy is comfortable with Jeremy. Uh, that, but they're just gonna t they're they're basically just gonna handshake on the mid lane matchup. Like we'll give you Yasuo if you give us Oriana. So Although a handshake on that. It, your point of Gragas Yasuo brought up something interesting. What if we had the Gragas Yasuo bot lane as was played last year once or twice? That would be interesting. Jarvin gonna be the one locked in for Jeremy here. So Jeremy is gonna take my suggestion. I suggested that they go Jarvin, and there it is. The Gragas hover immediately. So that's probably going to be a Gragas locked in. They're probably just waiting uh, down the time so they can have some more time to think about their next pick. Mm -hmm. But there, I was there exactly is. right with that. They are just going to take that right away. And they're going to take the, so the it Nautilus, is going to be the Nautilus or It is going to be the Gragas jungle, as you mentioned. Do you think so. they're going to be picking an uh, order Malphite top lane to go with that uh, huge Wombo combo for the Asua? They could. Um, I mean... The thing then is you're relying 100% on that Yasuo, and if he gets shut down, he's then you've lost the game. But Definitely. We'll see exactly how they play this one out. It is going to be the Aatrox to take out another one of the knockups. Interesting in the that game. they're, they're going to immediately pick away the top laner instead of giving him the last, the last pick, counter pick like they did in game one. But I guess if they want to guarantee that Aatrox, they got to take it now. And there's the Orn taken away, so we'll see exactly how this one plays out. Odd, you know, could be an odd suggestion, but do you think that there's a possibility that we wait on the AD carry in case of something crazy like a like a Yasuo bot lane, and so that we have a correct answer to that? Yeah, I definitely don't think it's going to be the Yasuo bottom lane. That's not something the average AD carry player will be practicing in solo queue. They might do that for just fun, but that's something that you need to put a lot of time in to really get good at. And so they, if they wanted to, if an average AD carry player wanted to do that, they'd have to put like. 50 games into it before they could get really good at it because it is a very difficult thing to do yeah so looking looking through this as we do wait on this last ban uh looks like that's going to be the aphelios coming out here so we'll see uh last ban or let first pick here of the second half for niu uh let's take a look it is going to wait down towards 15 um and let's take a look at what they say uh yeah, he doesn't have any gospel yeah. games in his match. And it's going to be Zaya, so... They're going to save the support for last pick, which doesn't make any sense to me, considering they've already seen the other team's support. Mm -hmm. And they're just going to... They're going to counter with the Ezreal. I'm not really sure... Unless they want to show throw sure something like a Jarvan into the bot lane, but uh, I'm not not seeing... We're not the Afrika Freaks. Calm down, calm down. We don't play Jarvan bottom lane. And we don't especially flex our jungler to the bottom lane to play that support role. And it's going to be the Ari coming back in there. So, so not going to be Yasuo's Yasuo top, top lane. lane. So into the Aatrox. I don't think that's a, that's a decent matchup for the uh, Yasuo. Cause he can just kind of dash around those Qs. But it's also not too bad because if he doesn't manage to dodge around those Qs, it actually is a pretty good matchup for the Aatrox. And then let's see what exactly is going to finish it off for Ari's comp. Could it be the Rakan to make sure they have the Zyra Rakan bot lane? It is going to be the Alistar once again to make sure that that AD threat is minimized. Uh, there's quite a bit of mixed damage throughout the side of uh, Western Michigan. And no way they're putting that Ari. Yeah, I was yeah, going to say, that's got to be Ari in the that. mid lane. No that would be... Oh, wait a minute. No, they're just, they're just trolling us. They're just moving it around a lot. We'll have to see exactly how this one finishes off because with 20 seconds left, that will be when it's locked. Um, 
it looks like right now that that would be based on the matchup. Gonna, okay, now they're, they're going to do this. Yeah, they're going to leave it. There it is. Already. So now it's locked as Yasuo top lane. Uh, summoner spells at, once again all the way down the line. TP everywhere. everywhere. And the Ignite's in the bot lane. As Jeremy has his flash on the wrong key. Uh, it is. But every, everybody as does else. Oriana and Zaya and Alistar. Yeah. And, uh, and Gregus. No, Gregus has it on the right key. No, Flash is on F. Flash is on D. Not uh, no, Flash is F. F is for Flash. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, as as uh, as my good as not my good friend. I don't know the man. I've I've met him, but I don't know him personally. But as Captain Flowers once said, uh, Flash on D. Bronze level analysis right there, okay? Bronze well, bronze I, for chat, okay? Well, Connor, you do speak from experience speak with that from bronze, bronze for level experience. talk. That's why I mess up on Maybe something. Maybe that's, that's why, why you're I bronze, because you have flash on the wrong key. That could it all makes sense now, Connor. It could be it. It all know? makes sense. But, you know, as Captain Flower said, bronze... Bronze level analysis. That's sometimes my point, but that's why I've got my good friend Quinn over here. He's going to be giving you the diamond level analysis to the master level analysis while we, I'll be giving you that play by play. If you didn't know, once again, we'll go through who we are Quinn, uh, Elf Score Lady One Mundorf, top laner for NIU's esports team uh, for League of Legends, as well as, uh, you know, right now he's not in the game as we do have Shane Magic Meyer playing up in that top lane role, but. They do flex against each other, so uh, as it goes, we, we will be seeing him at some point in the season. Uh, but he's going to be giving you the, the color commentator. And I am Connor Vagel, 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 coming to you from the Northern Illinois University Esports Arena here in Neptune North. I am the play-by-play uh, -play commentator as well as the general manager for NIU Esports. We're getting ready to get into game three of this best of three set. It is going to be, uh, speaking of set though, set not available this week in the game. Uh, he, he as well as Lux, Syndra, and Silas were disabled this week due to bugs. Um, otherwise, we might have seen some of those guys throughout this game today. We're looking to see exactly how this one finishes off. It looks like uh, we've got... Uh, just about one minute left, and then we'll get the pause in, and then we'll get you into game. Going through the rundown once again. Uh, Matchups, Yasuo Atrox. Quinn, you've mentioned you think this could be a skill matchup on the Yasuo Atrox. Gragas Jarvin, another skill matchup, I'd say, in the jungle. Ari Oriana, uh, we saw how that one played out last game, but I think that they saw it as something that was influenced too much by the outside and could possibly be a winning matchup for them again. Zaya Alistar, Ezreal Nautilus, something that uh, I think this is again. I think it's skill matchups throughout the board. Yeah, is a, lot that, of, a lot of safety from the Ezreal, as well as a lot of crowd control coming out of that Zaya Alistar combo. So really, I think that'll probably come down to whose uh, jungler shows up first. Mm -hmm. And NIU you know, has that teamfight initiation that they've been lacking in some of these previous games, with the Jarvan being able to be the ball delivery system right well, now. They so. were trying to use Diana as that interesting as that in, uh, initiation, as well as comboing out with the Oriana ball. But I think Diana gets blown up a little too quickly to be able to do that consistently, so we'll see how this goes in. It is going to be Conquer, Conqueror, Airy, Lethal Tempo, and Aftershock as expected on the side of NIU. Conqueror, Predator from the Gragas, as you know you may have expected. Um, and then we will see the uh, Glacial Augment once again on the side of, of uh, Glacial Augment on the Ari. Conquer, Conquer on the Ezreal. That's and then Aftershock on the Nautilus. Is Conquer a uh, common spell to see? Well, on after since Ezreal. Kleptomancy got removed, you mm. kind of had to choose. You know, you had to pick something and like, what else can you really do on Ezreal? Conquer the new Conquer works pretty well with them because you fire a lot of abilities off, and so you can kind of keep that stacked up for a while, and then eventually you'll get about uh, extra damage and healing as well. Ah, interesting. Um, does look like, uh, other than that, again, the Kleptomancy and the Minion Dematerializer on the Ari. So same build being run back here from Ari. Um, but on the side of 
we're going to see Baca doing something a little different with the Predator from that. So we'll see exactly how that plays off. Uh, we've got one minute before this. I mean, obviously, we're both a little biased here, but your pick going into game three. Based on these team comps, do you think NIU pulls it off? I mean, I think NIU has an easier comp to execute because they don't have to rely on Gragas living, you know, you know, fat body slams or mm -hmm. really great casts. They just have... Jarvan EQR combo with the Oreo ball. Pretty easy to execute. I have to give it to them for easy of execution on their composition. Easy. Yeah, and the explosive cask is going to be a great uh, tool, but with the delay that they gave it a couple of seasons ago, it's a little bit harder to use, and uh, we'll see exactly how that one plays off. We've got 15 seconds before we can get into this final game, uh, and we're getting ready to bring you NIU sorry, versus Western Michigan in Game 3. The winner moves to two and zero, oh, and the and tied for first place in the conference uh, or in the division, I should say. Uh, but we're getting ready to bring you the action, and we are live here with that game. Okay. Hey everybody, holding themselves at the base. They've got those little walls not shown as in the spectator client, which is interesting. I didn't realize that. But uh, yep, there go the nexuses. Everybody's on their way and running. Looks like. Uh, Western Michigan looking to put some vision on that red buff. Yeah, they're not they're not going for that level one fight again. No, they're not. That was something that NIU didn't like. Jarvin gets his uh, his pole in the right place at the right time, so he's gonna be able to get that uh, that advantage. It's now he's into that bush though. They did so. sneak into the bush, but there's the first little bit of damage. Actually, that's gonna be quite a bit onto the yeah, Oswell, Oswell, but uh, oh, the charm charm level one again with that uh, with that slow. Ooh. To be forced to back away, but uh, yeah, no. Um, oh, there might be a flash Ooh, being he's used. He's a lot of health here. He might actually die. He doesn't use the flash either. So Ooh, actually, that Q could have killed him. Well done to hold on to their summoner spells from both uh, from both Jeremy and uh, and Nathan. Yeah, but this could and cause Nathan to miss a CS or two. It could he's make behind him. the wave, and he's got to still wait for all that health to come back. Indeed. Jeremy might not even get a good leash because uh, his bottom lane is going to lose out if he stay too long. That is going to be the TP used from uh, Oriana here. So yeah, Not yeah. too bad to use it early because it will be back up by about six minutes. So he's not losing too much as long as he doesn't get ganked. I'm not so. I'm not too sure if they noticed that he used TP, but they might be able they to assume. They did ping it away that he got back yeah, here. They're, so. they're probably able to assume that he did TP back because he's probably wondering how he got back so quick and he's full health. Mm -hmm. So they probably just assume that he used it. So there could be a meaning that Gragas might try to come in for an early gank, try to Jarvin punish that. Hasn't finished his buff. Ooh, it doesn't leash away. So he got unleashed. That's unfortunate. So interesting there. A um, terrible start for Jeremy. Yeah, not here. a good start there, but that's okay. They're gonna not not as bad as uh, you know last game. They're gonna be about 200 gold down, but uh, able to come back from this one. Not um, not the kills well, that Gregus is already on two camps and already completed full two camps, and he's just on the the second camp now. Yasuo already up one level here, so he's gonna now get stunned up. Uh, actually, Ooh, good dodge. Cue. So. Did I know that CS there by blocking the Q? So as we continue, this is just going to be... Neither, you know, neither AD carry getting that perfect 12 CS, but the, neither, you know. The mid lane did get that perfect 12 CS on the Artie, but missed it on the Oriana. Mm -hmm. Going to see now the blue buff going towards a lot, or Gragas. He actually had to uh, use his body slam back towards the blue because he didn't get quite enough damage onto it, so... Uh, having to use one extra spell there, not able to quite get that optimum clear onto it from the. Uh, there's the knockup from the Yasuo. And just do a lot of damage yeah, you here. You can see that mobility just letting him dash around the minions and dodge out of those HRs. Jeremy's going to be spotted out here with the Scryer's Bloom. And actually going to use the, the Umbral Chains, but not going to be able to it's do much with it. And this wild. is going to be Flash well, coming flash through. Out. Jeremy doesn't have the so, health to really go in on that. No, he doesn't. He doesn't so. want to pull a Wiggly and dive right in there. So it looks like NIU now just going to continue to farm up here. Uh, going to be a ward placed down. To already down that, 16 so. or 600 gold at the three minute mark. I imagine most of that gold's probably just in the jungle. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little bit in that top lane. Good charm used by uh, 
JHK there on the Ari. So good dodge as well by Shane. Oh, just missing that umbral chain. So now going to land that one. Going to be able to get the uh, keep the uh, shield down. Looks like Jeremy is going to be set, sitting on that ward, uh, but now he's going to hold that. So he's just wasting time sitting on this as uh, there is a ward that has not expired that he's been sitting on for a good 15 seconds. While the, and yeah, now he's pinged away. Now they're going to back away, but he's going to have gone through most of this back. Yasuo going to try to land. Oh, good by Jarvan. Nice knock up. Another one here, and he's going to force the flash out. So even though, just a disrespect there from Yasuo, not quite backing away fully. Yeah, and, uh, he kind of just dashed into the wall there, mm -hmm. so he didn't get to dodge any of the abilities. Uh, no. So odd usage there, but he is going to, you know, Gragas is going to go in there. He does take a lot of the Chox's XP and go there. I'm just going to get the tower shoved in, but they can't really dive him. They don't really have the health to do it. Looks like they, they do They just do get that cannon denied. That's about it. He's going to be able to collect all the solo XP, and he's going to have an XP lead on Shane. So it should give him some more agency in the lane, as well as a CS lead, because Jeremy took some. But it looks like they're going to get punished by the dragon yeah, just take the dragon really early on. So. A five-minute dragon. We could potentially see like a 28-minute soul at this rate. And there it is. So we got the first Drake, the ocean going down for, uh, for Western Michigan. Uh, you're going to help like them out a... early on here with a sustain. Yeah, that, that but... should pretty much just win the laning phase, because any damage they take will just get slowly healed back up. It'll make it really hard for them to win trades Indeed. without having, like, just going in for, like, an all-in. Yeah, so and are you now looking... Shane going to take a lot here. of damage here. He does have ultimate, though, so now... Oh, actually, oh, interesting Yas usage does of not that. have his R. If he had R, he could have killed him. He actually might still kill him. It uh, looks like he's on the wrong side of this now. We're going to see how this one plays Doss out. He does have R, if he R the knockup, so he's going to look for this. He Ooh. does dodge it away, so now we do have Jeremy coming towards this. Knockup uh, not going to land, and uh, it will just be the tank smart, fight going away. Smart of him to just back away there and understand mm -hmm. that. If he landed that, he would have had it, but he can't. doesn't want to force it. Ooh, good charm on the R. Good charm. This might be the kill. Not going to be able to get it. We missed the second part of the Q, and if he had Ignite, that could have also been a kill right there, too. Mm-hmm. Nathan's TP is not back up yet. She'll be up about, very About one shortly. minute, so... Uh, look at the CS discrepancy in the jungle, though. It's about yeah, double the CS on the Gragas here. And uh, Oriana not even able to back away from the wave here, so... Going to lose out on yeah, a little bit here, for but... TP to come back, it looks like. Now going to back. Still going to have about 20 seconds before it's available to use, but... Jeremy is going to continue to look for this one. Uh, now down about a level, so not as bad as it could have been, you know. But um, we're going to see how this one continues to play out. Blue buff is going to be available in about 20 seconds for him here. Uh, gold lead about 800 in favor of Western Michigan. Uh, early on in this game, only about seven minutes in. We do see Gragas positioning for a gank on the bottom lane, so we'll see exactly where everything lands here. And IU is going to position towards this, but he does have the Predator, so uh, looks like Oriana, though, going to be donated the blue buff, so we'll see if she roams on down. Jarvan definitely is going to roam down, so we'll see if this is a 2 for, uh, or a 3v3 here. Looks like they are going to invade, and this is going to be Orion or Alistar coming up. So we'll see if they catch out this Gragas. They do oh, see him, but there's the headbutt pulverized combo. Oh, but Ezreal's, Ezreal's going to be here first. That's going to be TP, and flash. the flash does come out. So this is going to be first blood onto the Ari, but let's see exactly. Ooh, Explosive cast Gragas doesn't are. end up landing onto anybody. The oh, there's Shockwave just misses Shockwave everybody. Shockwave misses because of, the, uh, because of the Essence Flux. And now we're going to see exactly. There's Crane getting one. It's going to be traded back, though, by uh, the, he, oh, there's the Ezreal ultimate. Oh, Not Gragas be, has Predator, though. He does, and that's going to be yeah. the kill. So this is going to be a four for one in favor of NIU, or in favor of Western Michigan, I should say. And now the TP on TP towards the top to lane here. So we'll see how this one plays out. It is going to be, oh, going to be landing the charm. Going to be the heal. Oh, oh nice turn. Oh, oh, almost able to get the two. Close. If the auto attack had not canceled, that would have been a double there for Aatrox. And a very nice look for a turnaround. But in the end, it is going to be a five for two in the extended trade. Uh, Western Michigan is going to come out on top of that one. And they are looking for the early Rift Herald here. Shane does get the collecting on that shutdown, though. So he gets an extra 200 gold off that one kill. 
So it was good that he prioritized killing the Ari over the Yasuo. Indeed. So he allows them to get that bounty. Looks like Yasuo is going to try to get this first plate here uh, on that top lane. Um, yeah, does look like now taking too long on my the Red Rift Herald off. here is going to be taken. Uh, will they ward it? No, they don't even know that it's going down. So they're not going to look gonna, for it. But they they're going to look for it. They might turn yeah. off if he they're goes for this gank. No. No, he does go they're, back they're, in here. So. Yeah, Yasuo was able to get away in time. Bot lane does have a big wave forming, so they'll see what they can do here. Does look like they're going to try to get Pryo on this Drake now that it spawns in just about uh, just about a minute here. So we'll see exactly how that is. But Jeremy is up on the top side, so as is uh, Buka so or Baka. So I'm not 100% sure. Well, good pull there with the shockwave, going to force the no, ultimate away no from the JHK. But uh, we'll see. That might mean that without the ultimate on the mid laner, that may be uh, just the dragon deterrence for a minute here. We'll see exactly how this one plays out. Uh, waiting for Friday able to clear out that ward, and we'll see where he's able to go with this one. Jeremy just continuing. Greg is actually looking for this Gragas Yasuo combo here. He's going to look for a gank towards the top side. He's positioning into that brush. Uh, Yasuo goes in, going to get the knockup. Now the ultimate use, and uh, this is going to be the ulti from... From Yas doesn't have the R. He no, he it. doesn't. So this could be a kill onto the Gragas, and uh, we'll see if he's got Q available. Oh, There's going to be the trade back. Just gets it one, over. so it is going to be a one for one. Uh, Yasuo sitting at two zero and zero, but at least there's two kills back but on. But they do lose. The, they do trade the dragon for that. Yes, but I believe it's a cloud dragon. It is. Over? We'll see. It is going to be oh, it's no, the mountain, mountain dragon. So that's actually somewhat helpful for NIU. We did not get a cloud dragon in this game. No. Come on. Uh, oh, almost stolen. So we'll see exactly where this one goes. And it is going to be cloud, cloud dragon. dragon and Resident sleeper. We'll see it again. Uh, but that's going to be that run back towards this one. So we just not able to get that root on the Luan Smurf. It uh, looks like Oriana is just going to back grab the, uh, the Blasting Wand. Uh, or yeah, Blasting Wand, correct? Yes, that so is the Blasting Wand. The Blasting Wand. So The second component of uh, that's gonna be, Luden's Echo. Yep, Luden's Echo is going to be the, the full build there. So As well as a uh, nullifying, uh, nullifying Cloak. So good good uh, denial of some yeah. AP here. He's getting that, uh, trying to get the tenacity so that he cannot be... Uh, Charmed up by that Ari charm for as long. And are you just down? Oh, actually, about three thousand gold earlier. Yeah, already down three k so. gold, and uh, it is one to one dragon. And uh, I would say that uh, NIU currently does have the more impactful dragon of the two, but we'll see exactly how that one plays out. Uh, the nice thing for NIU is there's about three hundred gold worth of bounties on the side of Western Michigan here. So they yeah, will, they it's going to be kind of difficult. This is going to be Predator coming out here. So we'll see. Gragas has that used, but uh, actually, really, now going to be the ulti coming out. more important. It does. So we'll see exactly. This is going to be ulti, but... Yeah, he's uh, able to see he's just able to dash away from all those uh, cues. Now Yasuo finding himself in the wrong area. And actually, it decides it's the right one to show because uh, ba the mid lane fight didn't go anywhere. I'm and sure just why uh, Jeremy was doing the skull crab instead of going to help out his top laner. Because he's in a very good position to a uh, good, oh, good ulti uh, to make sure just enough mana to do so. Yeah, if he had any less mana, he actually might not have been able to ult that. No, and there's going to be the uh, the skull crab or be skull, able to the just rift herald. Oh, that's going to be the uh, rift herald taking down that turret. So they're going to go ahead and back away from this one. And I use going to look to position and trade this for at least a turret because last game they did go down those uh, the many turrets to none. But it's going to so be very difficult for NIU to take this tower, because once they take that tower, it's going to get massively tanky. Because there's so many people around it, the the armor of that tower is just ridiculously high, and they're going to be able to... Oh, is he going to be able to snipe the eyeball? No. The eyeball was still covered up by the shell. Ooh, that pullback might have actually killed him. Nope. He's fine. Oh, he oh, lands the hook on the... landed, uh, surprisingly. There's one thick cow. Barely. Oh, oh, he gets the R flash, and he's ooh, Shane wastes the Shane, flash there. Yep, the uses his flash at the end there. Damage still comes through. We'll be able to get the second tower, but it almost takes almost it. Almost gets yeah. it. 
He should be able to just go back for it if his jungler sees that uh, Jarvan's down here. But I guess he's uh, just back for now, I guess. Oh, double, double knock up there. So that's a big... Ooh, ooh, damage just... gets flashed away from, though. Now going to be flashing away. Oh, that was actually... a crazy hook. Just right around. Actually able to turn this. Could be... Oh, just get out of there. What are you doing, Nautilus? Oh, they're just turning it around, it looks like. There's the TP in from... Oh, Aatrox. This could be actually really good for NIU oh. with the overstay, but not going to be able to do it. Oh, that now glacial. Yasuo. Oh. Hmm. Interesting fight. It just kept mm -hmm. going. It did, and Nautilus in the end, no it is the advantage, over to, the advantage over to the Ezreal. Uh, now stacking that Mana Mune almost uh, fully onto the Mura Mana. So we'll see exactly how this one continues to play out, but... Uh, Turret advantage already in favor of Western Michigan, and they're not looking to stop anytime soon. Ooh, charm lands charm. onto the Aatrox, not going to be able to kill, him, but to kill him, but I'm going to take him down to about half. If you also had a tornado, they might have been able to go for it. This is ours just coming back up now. It is just now. So uh, we'll see exactly how this one continues to play out. Uh, this game, turret looked like, yes, it did drop, I believe. No, it did not. My apologies. Uh, it's uh, still pretty Aatrox. healthy. Yeah, it's still about half health, so my apologies on that one. Looks like uh, Jarvan is just going to look to secure his own buff. Actually going to look to try to contest this Rift Herald here. They do see it, and it uh, looks like NIU wants to fight this one if yeah, possible. Both AD carries are right now bottom lane, so it would be a 4v4. Ari is, is on her way, but NIU currently has a numbers advantage. They do. But they don't know where Ari is, so they're not. They're a little hesitant on yeah. going forward. But looks like they're trying to give it up. Yep. Atrox is just going to take the Krugs. is going to take the Krugs instead. They're going to back away from this one. They do see Ari now, they're but they're going to try to get a position on the dragon. But yes, they are, and that's going to be enough to. Uh, looks really like sure yep, they're going to get there first. So this right is going to be the uh, the Drake going over, and I use going to have that advantage. So they'll at least try to get the soul. This is going to be. They, can't see they him. don't he's realize not, he doesn't that know he's on a ward. Yeah, he does not know he's on a ward. Ooh, is this going to get gonna be a permanently for it, stunned? So, he has yeah, no he's healing. With die, the... But it is going to still be uh, still be the Drake as long as they don't let this get stolen. Ooh. Indeed, they do not. So Ezreal R does do a lot. It does reduce damage to minions mm -hmm. and monsters, so it wouldn't it wouldn't have very likely been able to steal that. But about a four and a half k gold lead with the next Rift Herald already summoned, so they might be looking to take yeah, at least gonna, a they couple might be able to get two This is the second Rift Herald. This is uh, surely the Rift Herald. So she's she's a lot stronger than Shelly, that's for sure. Look at this tower just melt. But there goes Ooh, the Shirley gets hit by the shockwave. Good shockwave. So uh, now going to be the the um, the wind wall pulling up. So that's going to be protecting the turret, but. It is going to just be two nothing with the or two turrets, two turrets to nothing. That's incorrect, isn't it? Oh wait, no, it's not. Yeah. Two turrets to nothing. The mid lane, and top lane. Yeah, both those uh, mid and top lane towers are very low. But they're yes, not they're dead yet. very low. But yes, okay. That's my miss. Miss uh, the bottom lane tower so. is still standing, but it's going to probably take a, a good chunk right now. With the probably right there, not so. going to be able to take it straight up. Or it doesn't really deal a lot of damage to towers yet. So NIU needs to find uh, needs to find a way back into this game once again through the uh, through either you know taking some turrets with the split push, but Yasuo is going to answer that pretty well, or um, you know finding their own advantages uh, with these fights and getting some turrets here. So looks like Bach is just going to clear some vision there on the Gragas. Uh, looks and. Uh, Oriana oh, is going to get caught once Before again with just, the shell. So Ari just keeps the shell, hitting these the charm. charms. And that's going to be now Aatrox and Yasuo, that matchup in the top lane once again. How much gold is Yasuo? Yasuo is sitting on 1,400 gold. He needs about 2,200, I believe. Or no, he needs, uh, he needs about 2,600 if he wants to fully buy that Infinity Edge. Yep. And 2200. He needs a quite a bit amount, a large amount of gold if he wants to get it. And it uh, looks like NIU is just comfortable farming it out and making sure their waves aren't taken quite yet. Uh, so we'll see exactly. Yeah, Baron is still not up on the table yet. And Dragon should be spawning in a couple minutes. It should. So we'll see exactly how that plays. Uh, looks we like still have yet to uh, get an Elder Dragon taken, haven't we? We do, yep. Yeah. So this, these games have been pretty quick. Um, 
I wouldn't say quick, but well, very Drake heavy and yes. very little. Uh, only one game had the soul, I believe. Yes, only the first game had the soul. So maybe we'll see a soul this game actually do something. Yes. Uh, this one could be impactful if they're able to get that soul. Uh, Another Claw Dragon soul, but it could still be very useful for, for, for very useful for Aatrox as well as Alistar. And then the Orianna Ori Shock Waves would be, would be pretty nice with it. Um, so Very easy to reposition after mm -hmm. casting it. That's going to be about half the health onto the... They're actually going to find a... They're going to find a Nautilus just sitting here. He's, trying to... and they're gonna, he's just going to distract, but is he the sacrificial lamb? He is. To make sure that this blue buff was not stolen, but... Ooh, very good hit. Good charm. Oh, very good, so. uh, body slam. Nice, uh, nice usage of the ultimate here. Cataclysm. Oh, another nice, great body slam. Nice body slam there, but it's going to be now one, now two. So this is going to be all the... Oh, Yasuo coming in. He's going to yeah, actually Yasuo, get the Oriana. Oriana the mana. But... Uh, that's As real is just fully stacked Conquer. He is he really is, strong. He's going to be able to get this. Now it's going to be got the gauntlet side, too. You and can't he's going to be able to that. get this kill. So now it's just going to be Ezreal. And this is the second fight in a row where, in the prolonged fight, Ezreal and Yasuo are able to take over these fights. And yeah. now you has the advantage. Ezreal was just free hitting. He had Conquer stacked for pretty much that entire fight. He never dropped his Conquer stacks. No, he didn't. So. Yasuo was just able to just dash around and eventually kill that Oriana with the R. Ooh, Shane got hit by that Ezreal. It's almost, uh, he's getting kind of low. If he had a death stance, he probably could have died to the, the burning. Looks like NIU is just going to continue to farm this one out. Um, does... They do need to find something back into this. There's 7,000 gold down once again in this uh, this game. The dragon spawning in two minutes here. They are just going to miss the charm, so well played by uh, Joss on Alistar. They're not getting hit by the star or the ch charm, uh, but this is going to be NIU looking once again to position for this Drake uh, as it continues to get ready to spawn here. Yeah, it's about a 3k gold lead between tall players right now. Joss does have... That uh, Infinity Edge plus uh, a crit item power spike. So he's sitting at that 100%. As well as it looks like he's going for Guardian Angel next with that Chain Vest. And it looks like Western Michigan is going to position to start this Drake off. Uh, but they're going to be posi they're going to back away from it. So they yeah, might... They might just try to get mid prior right here and go for the tower. Yes. Somebody needs to go and push that wave in because that tower might just die on its own. And, and as lo the longer this fight goes, the more damage they're taking from the dragon. Uh, Ari's on her way like back, NIU so is it looks like uh, to this. They're going to be able to get the, the Gragas out of this. The oh, smite he does, still he does still smite it away. Oh. Where was the smite from? Yeah, Jarvan's smite just off. didn't even go. And, and uh, uh, this is Ori's disastrous. Like this caught. might be... This actually might be uh, this is, Baron. This might be game. They might be able to just go for Baron now. They got the mid tower down as well. They can probably just walk over to the Dragon, seeing as they just won that four for one. Another great team fight from Western Michigan. Western Michigan looks like a team that's been coordinated on their team fights, and uh, unfortunately for Northern Illinois, this is not the uh, not the fights you've been looking for throughout this game. So we'll see exactly if NIU is able to come back in this one, but. Um, not uh, not looking too pretty quite yet in this game. This is going to be Baron going over. Unless Jeremy on Jarvan is going, but he's not going to get there nearly yeah, quick enough. So, uh, yeah, yeah, he's just going to go for his red buff. it's also a one-way ticket for him. It is. So yeah, he's, he's going to go ahead and just get the red buff. And uh, that's going to be Baron onto all five members of Western Michigan. And now they have that extra Claw Dragon for the extra... Our cool down. Mm -hmm. And it's about, now we're 23 minutes in, and that gold lead is 10,000 on the side of Western Michigan once again. So, NIU not looking incredibly strong right now, but uh, we'll see. Maybe they've got to come back on the ropes, uh, or on the books, I should say. You do uh, have so. the, uh, the, the shockwave could be really huge and just... It could be. Get a, if you can get, you know, get a five-man shockwave, there's potential this game can get turned around. It happened like that in game one where they, they took Baron and then they took a, t a terrible team fight and lost it all to NIU. Mm -hmm. 
So, like so it, potentially that could happen again, but it looks like they're doing very uh, slow, methodical uh, push down the get wave prio in all your lanes. Ooh, Gromp, just, uh, Wolves just got stolen there. That's unfortunate. It is, and Through this the is a smite too. Unfortunately, uh, this is uh, just to... a tough fight. Anytime that uh, Jeremy has to get into a smite yeah, fight, the, he is the, ten. He's thinking about going for the Ari down, so. here, but if he goes for the Ari, they're going to lose their bottom lane for sure. And they got one cannon minion. They're going to have to try to kill that if possible, but. It's, Western Mission is not protecting it very well, but... It does go down, do but there's have, the second wave. They do so. not have another one. It's not long enough into the game yet where every wave is a cast. Uh, That's right. Can't have minion yet. But Ezreal can just freely poke them down. Jeremy is out of mana. He's going to have to get, get go back to get mana if he wants to do anything in these fights. Mm -hmm. And this top lean, we mentioned it would be a skill matchup at the beginning. It... It looks like we understand. Looks like the matchup wasn't quite what we understood it to be. It looks like you know it was a tough matchup for the Aatrox. Not really easy to hit the uh, hit the skills once you've got all the yeah, dashes those, around uh, by the Yasuo. Those so. sweet spots are a little difficult when your opponent's just dashing in and out of them. Mm -hmm. So interesting. Uh, Ooh, there is the Ori shockwave. Ori is going to get onto Doesn't the Ori, but not able to get there. So. Not going to be able to use it. Alt is going to be uh, forced out, though. So that's going to be the first inhibitor dropping Should and the inhibitor, the inhibitor with it. So. Midwave is pushed in, too. So they do have a... They can just go right to that as soon as possible. It looks like I is just trying to figure out where they want to play their fight here since they're not going to get... They have to take the right fight here. Otherwise... I, they either slowly bleed out, or they uh, need, or they end up getting. Uh, yeah, they should just build. You know, if they lose this fight, they lose. So they've got to find the right. Yeah, it looks fight. like Baron Buff just wore off, so get a little bit of breathing room here. They don't have to worry about the super minions. And uh, so it does look like we're gonna see NIU trying to hold off this this siege. Uh, the, Minions are uh, pouring in on the top side as well as the bot side, so we'll see exactly how this one plays out. Uh, but the wave clear is very strong from Western Michigan on this one, and they're not even able to pull that one off after they see that uh, that back going through. Looks like this might be the fight that NIU wants to take here. Yeah, it looks like that Super Minions are starting to pour through the bottom lane, so someone's going to gonna give up that out. mid lane turret as well. For Dragon that, has not spawned Orion yet, already, so I don't know why for they're... 20 seconds either, so... Yeah, they still have a little bit of time for that Dragon to spawn, so I don't know why they're so eager to come get it, because look at that. Look at those waves. Look at the minions right yeah, there. Yeah, the waves are going to... Yasuo's also teeping right behind. They're flanked. They're getting flanked right now by Gragas and Yasuo. And there Ooh, goes... huge shock. Uh, going to be two immediately man cast. out, though, but... You no, know, one man last breath. And there's the last... Yep, there it is, and uh, there's mm -hmm. the damage. Once again, the head... Or the... Uh... And I use just getting absolutely... Yep routed here and just it's actually going to be the uh and the ace there has been hunted down and defeated yep and that's not going to be clean and they did get they one did for get it, but one that's going to be the kill, game but they do have and, supers uh, already in the base gg to western michigan they're going to take this series two to one after coming back in the reverse sweep style so uh they did need that one game to get online but uh niu going to move to one and one on the season we'll see if they're able to keep their playoff hopes alive next week when they take on uh, their next opponent in the College League of Legends season. That's going to be it for us this week. We uh, we hope that you enjoyed the broadcast. We know you didn't quite enjoy the outcome, but you know, hopefully next week we'll be able to see uh, a win from NIU. Go enjoy the Super Bowl or the rest of your weekend. Or Have LCS. Have a great night. Or LCS. You got Monday Night League coming up tomorrow. You got TSM on that one. You got TSM versus Immortals today. You got a bunch of other games going on as well. So, uh, you know, you got plenty of league. Have a great weekend. Stay safe, everybody. We'll see you next week for the broadcast.
Something at the edge of space Calling us to fly